Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like your candle, light me, Lord, light me, Lord. It's a prayer, not a song. It's a prayer, not a song. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like menorah, light me, Lord, light my life. Let me know what to do. Pray. Pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Let your light swallow up my darkness. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. The Bible says, they that stumble, stumble in the night. There is, there is no way you will stumble once there is light. Are we together now? Yeah. The Bible says, the eye is the light of the body. It says, and if your eye be full of light, right? If your eye be full of light, then paraphrasing now, it lightens your path. But then if your eyes be darkness, there are too many people stumbling. I don't just want to start preaching. It's important to know that our hearts are prepared to receive. You see, this song that we just sang right now, it's not, it's not a special number to just make you feel emotional. I tell you, it's one of the greatest cry you can pray in this season. The Bible says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. But the Holy Spirit is the light upon the candle. A candle is useless. Notice the way the candle lights. It keeps burning the wax. And then the light keeps coming. So the treasure in that candle is hidden inside. Are we together now? Without a fire there cannot be light. The greater the burning of the outer sphere of that candle. The more it gives illumination. So I want you to sing this song with understanding. Father there are. I, I confess ignorance in my life. But light me. Are you ready to sing it from your heart? Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord.
give us illumination tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Just turn to your left and right. Generously greet someone. Night me Lord. Hallelujah. One of the blessings of walking with the Holy Spirit is the capacity to develop your discernment. Discernment is the spiritual quality of perception. It's the ability to perceive not just the origin of things, the spirit that engineers certain things, but also a perception of thoughts and a perception of intentions. With uh, discernment works almost like mind reading. You are able to pick signals. Are we together now? That's why I led us to read that scripture. It says the sons of Issachar had an understanding, a perception of the times. One of the secrets, listen, one of the secrets to a life of victory is the ability to move as the spirit is moving. In the revelation of Ezekiel, and Daniel had the same revelation. It says how that the cherubs, everywhere the spirit moved, they also moved. The secret to a life of victory, the secret to a life of triumph, is to do what God is doing. Is to go where God is going. Because anywhere God is, that is where his life, his power, his victory, his glory is concentrated. If God is going to the left, and you are headed right, you are in trouble. If God is going right and you are headed left, you are in trouble. It's important. That's why we pray. And that's why we create an atmosphere of worship. Because among other things, we want to build discernment. The capacity to understand the speakings of the Spirit for every season. Hallelujah. And um, God has been helping us. We've been bringing teachings already that I believe are very, very applicable to our lives and in line with the word that God has given us this year. Tonight, I want to share on something powerful. This message is very personal to me, especially in this season, because I have seen the... Let me borrow from the words of God's servant, Bishop David Oyedipo. I have seen the capacity for sweatless triumph on the strength of what i'm about to share with you but then i have seen how difficult the life of a man can be if you do not have this let me digress for a minute or two to reiterate something that i believe has been an anthem in this place it's important to know what spiritual growth is because that's why we are gathered here spiritual growth first and foremost is the ability to conform experientially to the image of the christ conformity conformity to the image of the christ the second character of spiritual growth is the ability to sustain an ability where you accurately comprehend the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom so I can know whether or not you are growing spiritually by seeing to what degree you are conforming to the image of the Christ one and then the second point is I want to see how you are living your life I want to see how you interplay spiritual laws like a chef in a kitchen with raw ingredients but can give you an assurance to be patient for two hours and within those times he or she is working out something mixing the ingredients with intelligence and knowledge and after two hours sometimes what he or she is mixing will even change color they they know what to do and then they bring out a beautiful combination and it blesses everyone you are not a blessing if you do not understand the secrets of the kingdom you cannot be a blessing men rise in this kingdom through secrets 
we rise in this kingdom through secrets our business in this kingdom is the ability to trade secrets the secrets of the kingdom no matter how you brag about being spiritual if you do not know how to handle the secrets of the kingdom to produce the results that are required you are wasting your time and you will eventually get frustrated no matter how confident you sound now and what a joy to have a ministry and a platform by his grace that can afford us the opportunity to rise to a point where we understand the secrets of the kingdom this is what we teach every time and tonight you're about to learn one i pray that you not only add it to the list of the mysteries you may have had and are not using but that you pay attention to it because it may be the one key that is required in this season to bring prophecy to manifestation hallelujah can you pray for one minute and say lord open my eyes open my eyes open my ears amen tonight i'm teaching on what i titled the gift of men the gift of men ephesians chapter 4 the gift of men i want to share with you and unlock to you a mystery behind strange breakthroughs the mystery or a mystery really not just a mystery but one of the kingdom secrets that controls what i will call a quantum leap in a man's life hallelujah i want to share with you a mystery that is responsible for the sudden explosion in the life and destinies of individuals businesses ministries and all of that please pay attention the gift of men Ephesians chapter 4 your spirit opens to me the treasures of your world and I will forever see your your spirit opens to me the treasures of your world. I will forever sing your name. I will sing. I will sing. Of the wonders of your world. I will sing. Out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your world, and I will forever sing Seven and eight, Ephesians four, seven and eight. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ wherefore he said when he ascended up on high he led captivity captive and did what gave gifts unto men those gifts are not talents those gifts are not the gifts of the spirit those gifts are people when he ascended up on high he gave men to men there are men called gifts. Are we together? The gift here is not anointing. The gift here is not talent like word of knowledge. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. When you read all through the context of Ephesians 4, you never see the mention of anything anointing or gifts of the Spirit. Uh -uh. He gave gifts unto men. 
where is your own because the bible says he gave gifts unto men and he says anyone who has that gift will come into a level a stature he calls it are we together he gave gifts unto men fast forward all the other verses he says to the end because of those gifts that we come into the fullness of the measure of the expectation the stature of christ meaning there is a gift i must receive there is a dimension of the operation of the spirit i must receive in men to be able to rise to that level please pay attention everything on earth today happens because of one single entity called man the wars in the world today happen because of man the peace experienced by nature by nations have been brokered by men listen to me the poverty that we experience in africa and other parts of the world have been caused and have been sustained by men the wealth and abundance that have been experienced in our world today have been engineered by men the economic system that our civilization currently runs on was designed and is sustained by men the policies that govern the progress or the slavery of individuals and territories were carefully decided upon and prepared by men the only reason why there are still human beings on earth is because there are still men the reason why there is hatred in the world is not because there are animals it's because there are men the only reason why every other thing works you say i'm a real estate mogul no land does not give anybody money people love the land so the land becomes expensive everything revolves around men please pay attention i want to share with you a powerful mystery koinonia is running today not because jesus is lord but because there are men the radio station thrives because at the other end of the broadcast there is a human ear not an animal ear not a monkey or a dog ear a human ear to listen there is an armed robber planning to rob today and his mission looks realistic because of the existence of men how come the entire civilization of mankind run men, yet we never study them we study clothes we study oil we study every other thing but we never pay attention to men let me show you a wise man who did what we should be doing psalms 8 hello madonna psalms 8 hello madonna David was called up a man after God's heart. Listen, it was not just Solomon alone that was wise. David was very wise. He said, Oh Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Listen, who has set thy glory above the heavens? Read on, please. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou had ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Three when i consider the heavens the work of thy fingers the moon think about it which thou hast ordained for what is man that thou art mindful you took your time to create everything for him you created the sun the moon you put protection you made sure plants produced so god there is what is man what was in your mind 
when you were designing this entity called man that even you god will not rest why that is all god thinks about in heaven do you know god does not think about his glory i know what he's thinking about now man think about it sister if you are aware brother has been thinking about you from morning till night i think it's a cause to smile that shows you are valuable what is man that thou art it didn't say brain full mind full your mind is full right what's that song he will not suffer my foot to be moved i carry your presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me so what is mine he never say who is man he's not talking about the personality of man what strategy did you design that you call man i know his personality but lord what is the use of the could you not replace him with something listen read the bible god has replaced many things with many things but god has been unable to find a replacement for man to an extent that no matter how bad man was god will come and say we will fix it even the man himself after working them he still preserved others there must be more in this mystery called man you know what is in a bank that's why they protect it you know what is in the earth that's why we put nmpc to guard it but we do not know what is in this entity called man what is man I put it in a better way what is in man that thou art mindful of him can't you just waste them away and build another species lord are you are you so dull after you created man did you lose your sense of creativity why do you want to so fix him why can't you just replace him can't you put a mind in chairs what is man that thou art mindful of him not the son of man that as glorious as heaven is you are not comfortable so you come to visit him to an extent that you make that man your temple that man your temple your temple it's like donald trump coming to live somewhere at the back of this place and he says believe me you cannot get the joy and he said no 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 i mean you have everything you need Let's sing that song again. God, we are, we are, we are flying tonight. He will not suffer my foot to be I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? You will be so to love me. Jimmy, Moses had died when Archangel Michael came to carry his body. Lucifer also came wanting the body. The guy had died, they were fighting over the body. What was in the body? Don't just say it's your spirit alone that is important. Listen to me. What is in this body? that jesus is interested in satan is interested why do demons look for human bodies what in a body L listen listen what what happens to them when they are in a body you must understand this i will show you a mystery that will change your life we look for oil and ignore men we protect oil wells and leave men think how foolish we are we put fence around lands but leave men and ignore them and kill them and bomb them and we want to move forward the psalmist said i have already considered the ground i consider the oil fields <clears throat> i consider the sun i consider uh -uh. i i found out your attention is on this entity so god please tell me what is man that you are mindful of him 
if I have a safe with a million dollars and I'm hiding it if you touch any other thing I won't say anything but if you are coming near there I'll be shifting back that's how it is Satan noticed every other thing he touched God didn't bother but the moment he started coming to man his attention batters that man and then Jesus himself came and walked upon the earth they asked Jesus why did you come he said to die <laughs> what kind of assignment is that went to the cross and the people he was dying for were not even repentant yet he was not angry there is more to me and you I will show you something today that will make you never hate any human being I will show you something today that will make you see that your prosperity is in the hands of man what is man the most abundant secret to our blessing moves around us every day yet we we can trade it a thousand times to look for oil we can trade it a thousand times to look for whatever it is we protect things more than men we would rather kill men than kill things if 100,000 people die listen and Nigeria's oil field is protected we think we're still all right listen I want you to think about this for a moment just imagine that everyone at the same time in the world falls into a state of coma except you listen do we have intelligent minds in this place imagine that not death everybody simultaneously 7.2 billion people enter a state of coma right now except you let me tell you what will happen to you i know you will first run to the bank you will find it open by the way you will enter the safe and run to a mall no security no nothing no plane no more terrorists no fear where are the demons they are no longer interested you search for them every dark corner does not make you afraid again so why did it make me afraid man man the only reason why demons have something to do is because man is still alive so brothers and sisters i want to ask you again what is in man don't you think this calls for study this thing changed my life i'm playing with your expectation before i begin to teach you what is man when i consider the work of your hands when you see a man designing something you want to know what he wants to put there when i see you building a house i want to know the kind of thing you want to put there then you finish building a beautiful house lavish money and carry a little gold or a little baby or a dog and put in the house i know that that is a dog plus something maybe that dog you are hiding cocaine in that dog i will tear that dog and find out why are we together now Jesus shed his blood many times men will cry even for themselves to die listen listen have you tried to fix things fix things and it didn't work what do you do you try to fix a gas cooker again and again it doesn't work God doesn't throw it away now it's a mystery I wish I had time I would have shown you something a prophet saw that just like a shepherd comes to rescue a lamb he gave us an analogy in the book of Hosea. I think it was Amos. Amos now. Right? That a, a lion ate a lamb. Ate everything. He only left two legs and one ear. Two legs and one ear. Yet the shepherd fought the lion and recovered the two, ear, the two legs and one ear. When I read that scripture, I said, ah, if you come and you see a lion devouring your sheep, and the intestines have been eaten only one ear and two legs is it worth fighting for and yet the shepherd fought i preached a message years ago with that because for as long as you can have ears to hear the creative word of the lord and two legs to take a step of faith you can get everything back again it's the mystery of restoration the most important part of that sheep the lion did eat it what a foolish lion it ate every other part and left what can bring it back 
the lion would have eaten the ears and the legs and gone away and you would have finished that animal because if you still can hear and you can take steps of faith then all hope is not lost let's go to our discussion tonight please sit down everything on earth I said happens because of man the demonic oppression happens because of man there are more angelic activities on earth right now than human activities all because of men if God were to open your eyes in the realm of the spirit you will see myriads of angels dispatched and sent because of man every business succeeds because there is a man to provide that value and there is a man to patronize it is that true those of you who do businesses on campus you know that holidays are very bad times for you you don't like it why not because the building moves are we together now to an extent it me that you can ship a consultant from india bundle him like a package and bring him to a hospital just to perform an eight hour surgery and go back and pay him millions yet you think he is worth it hallelujah what is man that thou art mindful of him i have spent my life studying and learning the mysteries of the kingdom that control the results that we desire i still am at it and i do it passionately i'm like a spiritual archaeologist if you would um, permit me to use that word because i strongly believe the the secret of the future is in the past there is something we have long forgotten about that holds the key to a glorious future and so i study a lot and when the lord began to teach me the mystery of men um i just felt it was very important to teach us now when you consider the personalities of men listen you're talking about the psychological implication of men you can have people who we consider to be extroverts people who we consider to be introverts and etc that's not what i'm talking about today i'm not talking about the physiology of men i'm not talking about the psychology of men i'm talking about the spirituality the very spirituality the spiritual significance of having a gift called a man in your life notice every time there is the coming of a man into another person's life the bible calls it an advantage when he created all things when he made the woman remember he said it is not good so another body comes into another life and the bible says that person's life should not be the same I, i'm just using marriage as an analogy he said he that finds a wife he never said he that finds oil he never said he that goes to school has done a good thing he never said he that, he that if you can find another human being then he said there is a friend another human being that sticks close ah, ah. he gave gifts to men the bible was speaking about the patriarch abraham and he said abraham set out on his journey as instructed by god and then lot went with him he never said lord helped him lord just followed another man and lord's life started changing are you hearing what i'm saying now let me show you the implication of men the bible records that there was a man called laban laban and then jacob came to the house of laban and over a span of about 10 years laban's entire life changed is that true the bible speaks about a prophet called jonah on his way to run away from god's instruction entered a boat where there were other men and certain strange things started happening every time someone died they started calling for the appearance of a man and a man appeared and then something happened have you noticed every time men entered an atmosphere they, they made certain things to happen men 
men when Gehazi was troubled he went to meet a man are men really important when they were hungry 5,000 people they found a loaf five loaves two fish from a man and took it to meet a man even when the donkey spoke he spoke to a man please I want you to pay attention because what I'm saying will bless your life forever that means if I ignore men I am ignoring something more than a personality I am driving out a realm of reality and possibility from my life listen listen if I ignore men in fact in ancient times when kings had men they were called wealthy not just because they had an arsenal of people to fight because sometimes the people were not skilled but in the multitude of men is a king's honor the multitude of men is a king's honor every religion fights for men kings of the earth fight for men the only reason why they fight for territory is so that it can accommodate more men are we together when a man meets with his wife they give birth to another man why is God interested in another man when Satan tries to afflict a woman with barrenness what is he trying to stop what is he trying to stop he's not trying to stop joy no he's not trying to stop peace there are people who are happy without children why would Satan take the issue of men personal when Moses was giving birth to mm, listen Moses was giving birth to a decree. Listen. They said they should kill all, not animals. Men. In this case, the masculine uh, gender, but then men. When Jesus was born, the same thing happened again. Kill men. What is in man, oh God, that you are mindful of? What am I missing? the last person i drove away from my life what did i drive away i'm about to show you why is it that the bible even says a born again spirit filled man for treating another man in his life called his wife the heavens will close over him and his prayer will not be answered i didn't steal i didn't kill i only did something to another man that was not good yet heaven responds to it This entity called man, brothers and sisters, has more than just a personality. If all you look at is just two eyes, two legs, and a personality, you will cheat yourself. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you certain things about men. Number one, men in themselves are not perfect. Ignore this, because what I'm about to show you will be stopped when you are when you don't take away the you know the, the the effect of some of these things i'm sharing men are not perfect in themselves you may meet foolish men in your life you may meet all wise men in your life however it still is not in enough reason to just throw them away they may be holding certain things that i'll be revealing to you shortly are we together for some reason, God hid his possibilities in men. He didn't hide it just in buildings. He didn't just hide it in territories. But the consecration of the possibilities of men, he hid it. The uh, possibilities of God, he hid it in men. He made man the highest of his creation. Men are not perfect in themselves. Number two, the attitude and the behavior of men, good or bad, good or bad, listen to me, does not stop your receiving what they carry. The attitude of men, good or bad, 
does not stop your receiving what they carry Elijah was an angry man yet he was used to change the life and the stories of people you have to listen to this let me say the third thing that I'd want to say about men are you ready for this There are certain possibilities in men, listen to me, that predates even their salvation experience. Please listen. Predates their salvation experience that can still be received, whether they are born again or not. You have to understand what I'm telling you. Now, am I just, am I saying people should remain unbelievers? No. But I am saying there are certain things that God has put in men that can be received whether or not those people are born again or not if an old woman causes you whether as a witch or as a human being the fact that she has lived long enough certain possibilities have been opened to her to be able to speak over your life are you getting what i'm saying now yeah all through scripture every time children cried god had children every time read your bible every time children cried there was a response from the earth to heaven that's why i say out of the mouths of babes and sucklings thou had ordained are we together your destiny and my destiny are men dependent write this down it's a very serious point the your destiny and my destiny the fulfillment of it is highly men dependent my prosperity is men dependent the quality of the work god has given me the quality of your church your ministry your life is man dependent the quality of your life on earth as a believer and as an inhabitant of the earth is man dependent your success and my success in life are highly or is highly man dependent Evil on earth is man dependent. The advancement of the kingdom on earth is man dependent. The fulfillment of prophecy on earth is man dependent. God can speak. The Bible never told us in the prophecy. It said a virgin shall conceive. A woman aligned herself with that prophecy otherwise Jesus would never have been born he never said Mary no a woman chose to play that script it just so happened that the name of that woman is Mary it was said he would be buried in a virgin tomb he didn't tell us the owner that was somebody's business that was his property it so happened that the man who fulfilled that prophecy was Joseph of Arimathea. He said how that he would be betrayed, but he never said by a man called Judas. The prophetic word of God, listen, has been hanging over the heads of many people because the men to make it happen are not available. Or they have come and we have driven them away. Please pay attention. Occultism thrives through the availability of men. When the devil wants to destroy a family, there usually will be an envoy, an individual, an entity, whatever it is. Men are more powerful than mediums. You can keep a charm in a house, but the most powerful charm is an aligned human being who has agreed and said, Satan, I donate myself to scatter the life of these families. 
Are we together? My assignment is tonight is to help us to open our eyes to the mystery of these gifts that God has given us that we throw away from our lives around called men. And watch the unlimited possibilities. I call it a quantum leap. That your life, there is a, a quantum leap is a jump. Not just a movement. You move from one phase of possibility to the other because of the presence of a man. Hallelujah. There are four implications of the presence of men in your life. And I want you to note this. Number one, the first implication of a man coming into your life, especially sent by God, is the coming of wisdom, ideas, and strategies. The only entity that is able to convey wisdom, ideas, and strategies is man. Every time a man shows up in your life, wisdom, ideas, strategies, wisdom. So when I drive a man away, I did not just drive a personality. That's why I said, doth not wisdom cry. It personifies wisdom because wisdom moves in and through men. Are we together now? The conveyors of strategies and ideas and wisdom are men. Every time you are ready to move in a, to another dimension, God sends a man. And if you have the discernment, that man can represent the strategy for the next level. That man can represent the wisdom for the next level. That man can introduce the idea for the next level. Many pastors, many businesses, many individuals are grounded because they think men are just black entities in clothes. No. Every time you see a man coming to you in your state of misery, begin to rejoice and begin to discern what is this man? What is coming to me? It's not just a human being with a mouth to speak. Are we together? When you order a product from Conga or Jumia, they have their pack. Is that true? No matter where you buy it, they rewrap it with their own pack. And every time you see it, sometimes it could be a surprise. When you see it, you start laughing because you wonder what is inside. Whether it is big or small, you want to see what is inside. The next time you see a human being come to you, especially sent by God, in a prophetic season, you must begin to rejoice. Because that person, ignore the personality. This is what I'm teaching you. When you look at the personalities of men, you will drive all your miracles out of your life. There are times you have to ignore those personalities and discern. I've been fasting three days. Lord, what is the key to the next level? Then a man comes. Men are the vehicles that God uses to transport wisdom and strategies. Wisdom and strategies. Implication number one. Pay attention to what I'm teaching you. Wisdom, strategies. Let me tell you, I think shortly before Koinonia would start, when we were still meeting that time at the back of chapel in the abu campus here one night the lord led me to do something i just told everyone we're not so many maybe three four hundred or so then and i told everyone please can you write don't write your name just write out whatever suggestion that you think can make this ministry rise to the next level that's your assignment just write it and drop it in the basket Brothers and sisters, my life changed. Koinonia entered another, a quantum leap. When I began to read some of the things that were written, I was shocked. Men, bringing with them strategies. Do you know the answer to your prayer is not far from you? You just don't have the eyes to see. Let me tell you, God is not wicked. I have learned by experience that every answer is closer than you think. 
it is shrouded in a man the secret to your financial hardship somebody is walking with the answer and he will walk and pass you walk and pass you walk and pass you even be encouraging you while you are crying but because you have not discerned that men are the conveyors of strategies men are the conveyors of ideas men are the conveyors of wisdom I've had people help me solve problems in life and I've been surprised not at the solution they brought but that they are the ones who brought it and I start saying I mean so why did I start going around I mean you were here all the while has that happened to you after going around looking for answers talking everything it is your roommate while you are discussing in the night you say have you tried a b c and that's the end of it men convey us solutions disguised in human beings that we push away and never rise to the top every time you pray and you see men coming into your life pay attention there may be men who have annoyed you every day of your life but on that day they are sent on that day they are sent who gave naaman the secret of his health i know we clap for elisha but it was not elisha the bible says there was a little slave girl correct a slave girl meant that she did not even have the rudiments, the education and the training yet listen it was her that told naman he said I, I i know i'm a slave but there is a man of god there is a man of god i want you to meet when he met the man and you know doing his big manism she she's the one who came and advised him and said see he didn't ask you to go and bath in another dirty water somewhere and naman washed seven times and the bible says his skin could it be that since 2013 you would have risen but god kept answering your prayer and you kept rejecting the answer god give me strategies and all of a sudden he said please get out this way we're talking serious things here i had a little dream i saw you i just wanted to share shut up don't tell me anything i'm not stupid i'm a, i'm spiritual a small girl like you and you threw away your answer the person only humans can dream dogs don't dream forget all that junk you hear from sciences only humans have the faculty and the capacity to dream a dream is a mystery is one of the access points where we receive revelation from the realm of the spirit only men can dream only God knows how many times you have dreamt the answer to someone's prayer yet the person drove you away I'm not talking of false prophecies and, and nonsense where you keep harassing everybody you keep seeing things about everybody's life not your own life I'm talking of quality God inspired solution that has a track record of results that we all appreciate are we together men number two what is the implication of a man in your life endorsements and opportunities men are the conveyors of endorsements and opportunities listen if no man can endorse you in this life you will never rise paul the apostle a man approved endorsed when they produce a drug they say this drug has been endorsed by the nigerian dental society brush with it and your life will never be the same or whatever it is that that is the advert are we together now the endorsement whenever you are in doubt when you see that endorsement listen we trivialize endorsement companies have entered million dollar status overnight because of endorsement people have gotten admission with whatever it is because of endorsement i was talking with one of our people here who had been trusting god i think for a change of faculty or something and um you know the guy was discouraged and then i told him i said he should meet our daddy prof you know just to help him out and he said he, I saw him, I think it was just last week or so. And he was telling me, he said, everything is settled though. 
He said in his presence they were driving everybody out. But immediately he entered and they saw the signature. They said, come in. Is it prof? Come in. It's called what? Many carnal people think it's not spiritual. You need endorsement. It was John the Baptist. Listen, this is a secret many rising ministers don't know. Somebody who earns the loyalty of the people must speak for you. Otherwise the gate will not open. The gate will not open. Show me the man speaking for you. Show me who has authorized. Listen, when a man endorses you, he takes his sacrifice and puts it for you to cross with. Many believers lack endorsement. Many businesses lack endorsement. Many individuals lack endorsement. There are many people who would have gotten jobs if only someone can say this and that and that. By the privilege of God's grace that he has granted me, I have endorsed people with just a statement. A one-minute phone call turned them to millionaires. One-minute phone call. Oh, I know this person. I can vouch for him. Help him. Benny Hinn was at almost at a state of financial bankruptcy one time. They were going to cancel the crusade because he did not have enough money. He needed $10 million in three days. $10 million in three days. An anointed man like Benny Hinn, please pay attention. Benny Hinn was, you know, making a program challenging the partners to come and, you know, when the accounts department, their back office were looking, nobody was really contributing. And the Holy Spirit told him to go and bring Oral Roberts. He carried Ora Robert and brought him. The old man came and sat on air. And they had only three minutes. Can you imagine? Three minutes to the end of the program. Do you know what Ora Robert said? He said, Benny is in need. Please help him. In less than 24 hours, they raised about $15 million. Everybody say endorsement. Don't joke with what I'm telling you. I'm teaching you a powerful mystery that you will need. Promotion many tongue talkers sit down everywhere because they do not do you know why i'm teaching you this i'm going to tell you the responsibility so that when you see a man that can endorse you no sacrifice to maintain the relationship becomes too much because you understand the implication of that person's reputation to your destiny all this unnecessary anger with everybody because you think you are the god of yourself you will stay poor and broke and you will lose in life endorsement 90% of the ministrations that I have gone to by the grace of God have happened through endorsements. One pastor endorsing this. Someone saying, I came for koinonia. Listen to this message. While they are saying that, I'm probably sleeping or gisting with somebody. I pray for someone tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice, the voice. No, any, listen, not every voice can lift you. Not every voice can lift you. The voice that has been accredited is the voice that can lift you. And I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, may that voice speak over your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Men imply the presence of of endorsements and opportunities pastor alpha called me i think when was it that yesterday i was in abuja and he called me and he said apostle do you know anybody who read civil engineering there is a job right now as we are talking for the person no interview no nothing and all he wanted was who is who is there I mean, so that we can give him the... I said, Kai, I don't know anybody in my mind. Let's come for koinonia. After, maybe the person is here now. As you are here, you are saying, praise the Lord. And I help you answer hallelujah because that's it. It's done. Someone's life changed overnight. How many people after service, they were just going out to trek just like that. And somebody gave them a lift. And while discussing, they said, ah, what do you do, young man? He said, sir. No, I'm just moving around. I say, how can you be moving around? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Come to my office, take this card. And they thought maybe the office looks like just a small fish pond and another building. And they enter the office and they say, sorry, this person. And they 
it keeps getting access until he gets to the man and he says, well, I'm the managing director of ABC. I'm the Nigerian representative of this. Let your life change. Can men change people's lives? <laughs> you, are, you are a big joke. Look, let me tell you, some things are not demonic oppression. Some things are childishness, which have been caused by lack of orientation. Sometimes we need sufficient adults to tell us how some things work. You know, all this childishness people carry around. I don't need anybody. You need, oh, you better change that talk quick. I don't need any man. Are you joking? Man, what is man that thou art mindful of? Man is a conveyor of endorsement an opportunity are we together that's why we work at making every service a great experience for everyone because everyone's experience is automatically an endorsement of what we represent I have gotten things without paying for them because of endorsements Brothers and sisters, I'm showing you a simple secret that will change your life forever. The Bible says they know not, neither will they understand. They grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course. People have received partnership in their ministry overnight because of an endorsement i've had the privilege i remember one time a particular pastor somewhere you know I, I don't raise money raise funds and all of that but i went to the church and i you know i saw the project they were doing and when i you know said everything i said by the grace of god um i want everybody to sow a seed for this project just jokingly do you know the pastor would call me like two three weeks later he said in all they have met they have prayed and they have fasted him he was saying apostle you are really anointed i said no 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 no. in my mind it's not just the anointing it's a track record listen listen don't wait till you create the same track record you, you will you will time time cannot wait for you leverage on someone else's sacrifice The condition that was available to create that track record by another may not be available for you. Are you sharing what I'm saying? I know lecturers, and I say it with all humility, and it doesn't mean you should meet me after the service, but I know lecturers that I have called and said, Sir, please, so, so, so has met me that there is a problem in your department. And this thing is going to affect him. Ah, my apostle, how are you? You are even calling me. And I say, sir, please, I'm not saying you should uh, do anything, but please, sir, can you look into this issue? And the person will just come out and say, I passed, I graduated. It's only me that knows what happened between me and the other person. May someone discuss your rising, even when you are sleeping. That when you are, while you are sleeping, someone is saying, look, do you know Sam? I know how he will rise. Come on now. Listen, those who understand this never get stranded. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. There has to be somebody to speak. The voice that speaks for you is the ladder that you will use to climb in the destiny of life. You don't pay attention to what I'm telling you to be at your peril because someone is receiving already the answer. This is how God will bless men in this season. That's why I tell you, when God says it's a year of triumph, believe him. It doesn't take time. It just takes the right voice speaking for you. Hallelujah. I have entered offices today. I have no business entering it because of the endorsement. Endorsement. Who has endorsed you man of god i know you are anointed but you are sweating all around with posters flying everywhere and saying please invite me give me 30 minutes out no 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 you don't have to do those gimmicks who around has had the credibility and is willing to endorse you hallelujah i will never forget one one of our ladies when she was preparing to get married when she went to meet her mother, her mother said, I don't have anything to tell you. I don't even know this guy. Just go and meet apostle. Whatever apostle says. Think of it. Leaving somebody's destiny in my hands. I called the mother. I said, mommy, this guy is a very nice guy. He said, apostle, you are saying that? I said, yes. From that day, 
there was no ch challenge again Lord raise somebody to speak for me or raise someone to endorse me raise someone to endorse my business raise some raise someone to endorse my life my destiny there has to be somebody to speak for you listen let me show you that Jesus immediately they gave birth to Jesus where did they take him to the temple there were two men that endorsed him are we together immediately they took him one prophetess called Anna had been there praying and fasting she lifted him and began to speak and then Simeon the prophet began to speak when John was among different people when John saw him John said behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world in the presence of everybody somebody must speak to you in the presence of everybody don't be angry that men are doubting you you have not done anything to bless them why should they not doubt you listen listen let me tell you do you know i say this with all humility there have been people who by the grace of god they started out in ministry and the church was not growing the ministry was grounded and all they needed sometimes they just call and say man of god please so many people listen to your messages in this region you are not here you don't have a branch me i'm here you know i love god and these people never come to my church and then they make arrangements and the day i'm going for those meetings some of those churches don't even have plenty of people but they have multiple overflows those times why because somebody that the people believe in has appeared are you hearing what i'm saying now and then the moment i speak i now say oh this is my uh, uh, a pastor friend a great man a man of integrity i love him with all my heart and immediately it looks like a one second or five seconds talk but the members just say i found my pastor since i can't come to zaria i found the person that can represent him that's why sometimes people foolishly carry my picture for meetings that i'm not coming they don't care whether i say yes or no they just start producing the posters in advance first because they think it's endorsement sometimes it doesn't work but when you have a man truly who can speak for you brothers and sisters i don't see the witch or the wizard that will tie you ladies have married cheaply because someone recommended them brother i've been praying honestly there's this lady i've been looking ah no 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 this lady is a blessing i tell you if it's this lady you are sure of joy and peace in your life whether in plenty or in luck and the brother says I've, I've, my prayer has been answered a few months later they are married but do you know the same way people's destinies have been cut short somebody was about to rise but a bad talk from someone brought him down they were about to give him a job he said don't give this guy a job he worked with me he's toast meant he, maybe the guy has repented oh do you know paul had to do this for onesimus it's in your bible accept him i know he was once so 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 and so but now just accept him there are people here all those who know you knew your yesterday you have repented today you need a fresh voice that will tell people this is not Saul this is now Paul because the, the, the predicament of being Saul is destroying your breakthrough who today must speak and say no 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 this guy was an armed robber but January he repented are you hearing what I'm saying some of us our past will never let us go they know that you used to be around following every man yes that was your past but now you are born again and Jesus is Lord of your life yet all the people in your life are people who knew you 1997 so the moment they see a responsible godly man come in they call and say Kai, um, you know David Dam I wouldn't have told you it's just because you are my brother this is not a good choice I command every voice that speaks when you are about to rise the moment there is consultation among your destiny helpers to, to lift you there are voices there are pastors today that should not be begging for bread partners wanted to sow into their lives but somebody said I saw his poster with A and B's poster and immediately over 70 ministrations cancelled just because somebody 
recommended you badly i pray any voice in the name of jesus that has been speaking evil against your destiny i silence that voice right now shout amen i silence that voice right now i silence that voice right now please sit down sit down hallelujah cheap victory because a man showed up quantum leap because an endorser showed up there are pastors who their destinies have changed overnight a man of god they invited somewhere could not make it and he'll just say please can you go and stand for me that was a meeting that their level of grace and experience should not take them there and they stood there and they did well that day after the meeting there are seven or eight pastors and they say sir please can you come to a, for a meeting can you come for a meeting etc etc there is no meeting brothers and sisters that i will go for that afterward somebody from that meeting will carry the wondrous works of god to another region this is how we have grown as a ministry this is how we have grown even financially the blessing that has come from people are we together now i remember someone one time sewing into the ministry and he said that him i think he's a critical person he hates men of god many men of god are fake they are not serious but when he listened to my message and his mentor he, he had his mentor whoever that person was listening to my message he just said no we'll be sowing into this ministry every month i tell you every month he sows a seed to koinonia and a seed to my life do i know him i have only communicated with him on text but endorsement don't trivialize what i'm saying endorsement someone you are selling products and you are doing retail whereas a hotel somewhere or whatever needs your product in wholesale but they don't trust you and you will not be given the opportunity to prove your trust you will only be given the opportunity to be trusted based on somebody who already knows you who they believe and someone will say some answer ah, listen if he's a maker eh, i can tell you he will deliver your chickens every time if he does not deliver it just take it at my risk and all of a sudden they will just sign it and instead of selling one one chicken somebody will come and say it's two five you say we'll give you 700 and all those arguments for hours just to buy one chicken you will start doing wholesale delivery your life has changed music artists how many music artists have been suffering as if god didn't call them beautiful voice but no voice to speak for you beautiful voice but no voice to speak they only invite you if everybody they invited is busy then they'll say sorry honestly this program is in three hours I, are you free just come and cover our shape you need a voice say i need a voice, I need a voice. say I need a, I need a man yeah you need the coming of someone in your life to speak for you what opportunities have you been given were you giving it or you looked for it by yourself are you seeing the secret to hardship where you have to look for everything by yourself who has called you to say there is a big opportunity i cannot handle it but here you go like whoever is going to get this job now there are times they've invited me for almost every invitation that we honor there are a few others we have to turn down and there are times in my spirit I have felt led to lift certain people and I call those people I say I'm sorry I can't come their heart is paining them and I say no 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 but this person cannot call but I know someone I can recommend for you do you believe me ah apostle we believe you we have been praying okay invite us so and so he will bless you case close I don't want my life to be hard though the Bible said the way of the fool is hard wisdom that voice that must speak in my life this has been my prayer i'm sharing with you my secret prayer lord who is the person everybody is buying land they say there is no land it's a lie it's just that all the important people have bought it the day you come they'll say please so so said they should give him land i've shared a testimony here that i heard years ago um and i'll reiterate it very quickly someone who wanted to 
um, I think get admission in NDA and then the, the required height level the person did not have that required height level and you know military people they are very serious well that's it he returned back to Zaria and then met the Emir and the Emir sent that they should go and tell the commandant they should go and tell the man that the Emir has added the height of the person hmm. who is adding your height in this wicked world listen this our world is fierce and wicked who is hiding your height when people stand and conspire we must destroy benga we must make sure he does not rise who is the voice authorized to stand and say no not this i will show you why doors don't open because the truth is i want to admit this with all humility many of us are already prepared for the next level but we don't know the endorsement is the key that we need the truth is if it's music artists god has honored this ministry with great people if it's intellectuals there are some of you seated right now one endorsement i remember a gentleman who came here um some time ago a medical doctor and he discovered um something he was he got the patent for um reproduction of something to reproduce a particular device that can check i think it can check your heartbeat and whatever without taking blood from your body very smart guy he came here and i told him i said please go and meet our daddy so that they will connect him with professor knock and like that and i think so on and so on like that like that we've not seen the guy again I want to believe that God has lifted him and I pray that it is so. I made up my mind that every voice that must speak into my life, whatever price it will take, I will pay to secure the endorsement of that voice. It's not human worship. Hallelujah. Ora Roberts, help Benny. He's in trouble. And all of a sudden, somebody's prayer point becomes a gift. Hallelujah. There are men of God who just... Do you know there are certain stages, even ministerially speaking sincerely, if God grants you the privilege and the access to stand on that stage, as far as ministry is concerned, God has helped you. There are certain individuals, if God has given you the privilege to see... God has changed your life. Endorsements, opportunities. Number three, what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives? Number three, what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives? Access to financial and material resources. Write it down. Access to financial and material resources part of the fringe benefits of the coming of a man into your life access to financial and material resources listen listen every one naira every material resource you pray for is currently in the hands of a human being right now praise the lord Every land Koinonia will ever buy in any nation of the world is currently in the possession of somebody now. Every transfer that you have been fasting for into your account, there is an entity holding it now like this. The money for your house is in somebody's account. So when you start building a house, it will not fall from heaven. Transfer will be made, transfer will be made, transfer will be made. Human beings. There are human beings that are generous enough to change your life. Listen, Koinonia, hear me. It is a false understanding to believe everybody is greedy. There are absolutely benevolent human beings. Your own price is to win their heart. You can go to bed. Hallelujah. And Lot went with him. He didn't say, and Lot believed what he believed. Lord, just walk with him. Hallelujah. Do you know that someone was sharing a testimony somewhere 
uh, I think it was a lady or so that was sharing a testimony. Somebody she knows, they were walking along a path, a road, and then the person was quite a senior man, and then he met a very big man, and he was greeting the man. And whilst he greeted the man, he gave the man, you know, the person she was walking with now. That stranger, rich stranger, gave some money and looked at her and said, ah, young lady, he decided to give her something too. Just like he was not even counting. She said when she counted it, she found that it was 50,000. Just because she was working with who? Think of, think of your prayer point disappearing simply because you are working with the wrong person. It's the same way you can be working with somebody and you check and find out, ah, I left my house with 500,000, now I have 12,000. What happened? The presence of someone took something away from you. Access to financial resources. Your money is in the hands of men. Please believe me. Your money is not just in the hands of business. You can sell anything you want to sell. It's a human being that will have to buy it for you to be paid. Men can bless you for no reason. You must believe this dimension exists. That a man can just bless you. I've had the privilege of blessing people in a lavish and a generous way. For no reason. I don't even know some of them. Hallelujah. Let me share a testimony that will bless you. I share these testimonies to encourage our faith. I came back from Abuja this just this evening, just coming here now. And um, yesterday in the night, I decided to take a cab just to go and get something to eat before returning to sleep. And while I got there, my, my elder sister came to give me a surprise visit and we chatted for a while and then, you know, saw her off. Uh, on my way returning, I asked the man, I said, how much is your bill? Probably because the man saw me buying things for my sister and the rest. Ah, the guy said, oh, guy, anything you give me? I said, no, no, please don't tell me all those things. Just, you, you are working. You are working with intelligence. What exactly, how much is your money? And then he mentioned, okay, X amount. He said, oh, guy, you know, I told you I have three children. Because I asked him. I said, oh, you have children. How many children? He said, three. I said, you're a hardworking man. You know, we're talking on the way coming. I said, I like you. You're a diligent man, striving to make sure you provide for your family. And then when he asked me how much, I said, no, but you know that's not the price. So how much is the last price? Then he now told me the truth. He reduced it by some amount. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said, I should take whatever was in my pocket, everything, everything that was in my pocket. I don't know how much, but it was, it was nothing less than 25000 He said, take everything and give the man. As soon as I draw from the car, I said, Mr. Man, you do not know me, but go and tell your lovely children that you met a man who decided to bless them make sure you take care i removed everything i dropped it the man was afraid ah this is i hope this is not blood money and etc 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 i just dropped it and said okay this is where i'm highlighting god bless you until i entered the man was shocked that's the kind of experience that is i didn't know you will answer me this way There are such occurrences on earth. I'm giving you an example. That's somebody's prayer. Now, it may look like it's 20 or 25,000 or whatever. I know it looks small to some of you. But that's the same way it can be 200 and something million. The same way it is that trivial. The same way it was. There are obedient people. Let me tell you. There are people who pack out of their house and give you if God said it. But if they have not had God, you can be dying. They will look at you like this. There are people who the voice of God is their trigger. But to get that voice of God, you have to invoke this and say, Oh God, let let send this man. This man has what it takes to wipe my tears. Financial and material privileges accessed sim not through intelligence and business acumen, through the understanding that men can do this. I started doing something some time ago. I don't do it again. When I go to get fuel, whoever is before me, no matter how much he wants to fill his tank, I pay for it. I just said I would do it as a seat. If I go to get fuel and you happen to be before me, whether it's a bucket you are carrying, as long as it's within my capacity, I will sow into And I've done that and I watch the joy that it, it, it produces in the life of people. Watch this. 
one time I, re- I remember I think it was one of this was it Salah or something like that a, a, part- a man came and I saw him bring out 200 naira ah, the wife was at the back of the bike just he even just put one leg down and opened that this thing just it's as if you just press the thing and take it back how much with 200 naira fuel and I looked at him I said please fill the tank for him the man just turned I was greeting him as a field attack. When he finished, I just waved. I said, Madam, bye bye. You know, this and that and that. And the man just looked at me. Do you know why I'm doing this? One, because I love God. Two, I am activating the same thing because that's what I want in my own life. I want a situation where one day somebody says, Joshua Selman, I hear you need a house. This. I hear you need five acres of land for Koinonia. Take. I hear you need joy and peace. I believe it or if you like don't believe it I believe it with all my heart it's not laziness it's a provision that is in the kingdom how many people have gotten free house they are not in ministry one day somebody just said come and escort me and they are sharing houses and you just got your own and left quietly and ran out of the town just quietly got a lawyer and said sign this it's called prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared blessings that's what God is getting ready to bring for us in this season prepared blessings where you will wake up in the morning with a text and you check the text and all of a sudden a man sends you a text wanting nothing in return I'm not talking of bribe look at this many of our parents some of you know that I'm telling the truth they are brilliant According to their level of sacrifice, they should be working at the, the highest echelon of the government. But today, nobody can speak for them. There are many people who should be legislators, doing very well. Nobody is speaking for them. There are buildings, houses that should be completed, but there is no help. Because you start on your own. You are receiving 20,000 naira every month. But you know one day you can just be passing and somebody will just look and say once in a while we just want to bless people and it just happens to be you dr mike mudok shared it a story one time how that i think it was his dad of blessed memory or mom they performed a surgery and it was about twenty five thousand dollars the people had exhausted all their monies and you know the hospital just called them and said once in a while we like to do good things to people just like charity and it happens to be you I was told about a woman of God in Abuja today that went to a particular place and saw um, it's like their chapel devastated. She brought out 8 million cash and said they should rebuild a house for God from scratch up. I know a man of God in this country. Well, not a man of God, but a rich man. The pastor had been shouting, we need a tent. All of you so we need a tent we need a tent let's beautify the house of god the rich man just kept quiet as if he doesn't know what they are saying one day the guy got up and bought a tent 25 million cash they brought it i'm mentioning these big amounts for a reason i want to stretch your mind because some of you will never believe it if you like say i'm talking about money no problem i know you don't need it but your destiny needs it <laughs> so you better pay attention in the name of Jesus connection with men who can help you do you know sometimes all you need in life is just help you don't need advice you don't need suggestion sometimes all you need uh, you don't need help like spiritual help the direct need if you need a watch just sometimes case closed just that watch. sometimes what you need is financial help When Ruth, listen, when Ruth and Naomi, when Naomi stood and was confused, did not know what to do. And Ruth said, I'm not going anywhere with you. Do you know a time came when she went to the field and she saw them gleaning? And Boaz said, leave some. What did she do? Just leave some. There are, there are blessings you will enter into this year that you too, you will know that this one no is not me it's purely the sovereignty of God and I stand in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy it upon you as surely as the Lord God of heaven lives may that come to you speedily 
may that come to you speedily everybody shout prepared blessings say it again prepared blessings it, it, it is true it happens where somebody just steps in and solves your problem directly I share with you a testimony those who just got admission in the school of ministry congratulations but you will notice that a supplementary list came out it's not in our culture to release a supplementary list are we together now someone spoke for the students a voice that I honor, that we honor. I supervised the supplementary list by myself. There were three people that I honor with every esteem in my life. And when three of them called me, I said, no, no, no. I'm under authority too. Bring all the forms of the students who did not get the admission. You, you were just sitting in your house and you saw an alert. And they said, congratulations. But someone spoke for you. Why has it stopped? Why should it not continue in other areas of your life? That somebody will speak for you. You are just sitting, you see an alert with a phone number and you call and say, who are you? You say, we were discussing and someone mentioned your name. It has happened to me. It happens all the time. Pray in one minute and say, Lord, help us. Financial help us. Please ignore people who think you are wasting your time. Pray this prayer with faith. Lord, send help us. The house of God needs help us. My family needs the ministry of helpers. All I need at this point in my life is a genuine helper. No string attached. No, thank you for investment. But what I need now is not an investment. I need a helper. Helper, my family is about packing up. I need a helper. Please don't joke. This is your destiny. This is a kingdom secret that can wipe your tears. I cry for a helper. The gift of men. He gave gifts unto men. He gave gifts unto men to the end that they be established. He gave gifts to men to the end that they be helped. In the time of recession, he is still giving gifts to men. In the time of lack and want. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Jesus, this is someone's breakthrough tonight. I believe, I believe, I believe. Who said the medical bills must be paid through salary? Who said the helper cannot arise and wipe it? Who said the roofing of the house must be done by your savings? Hallelujah. Please sit down. I tell you, my spirit is stirred with what I'm telling you. Many of you will thank me. You will see your lives change overnight. Don't mind people who think what I'm sharing with you is not making sense. I show you what can change your life. Brothers and sisters, is one of the biggest secrets of this work you see by the grace of God. There are few things in this ministry, let me tell you, there are few things in this ministry, few things in this ministry that are actively being paid for from the central house. Every week, every time 
there is somebody rising to handle something when we used to use other venues there are people who just arise and say look i will pay for the venue i will pay for this how much does it cost to transport people all through after service i will pay for it don't think it's everybody who must say what will i get in return there are people whatever you want to give them god has given them already they don't need anything they just want to bless you what is man that thou art mindful of number four what is the implication of the presence of men in your life i call it impartation access to impartation and the prophetic access to impartation and the prophetic why do you need men in your life their presence can guarantee you access to impartation what is impartation transference of grace for possibilities transference of grace for possibilities men move according to the kinds and the dimensions of graces at work in them no matter how you cry for god to anoint you if you ignore men you will never do you know look at me some of you all you need in your life is just that prophetic push prophetic push bishop oyedeko said every time they are busy celebrating winners and say wow this is how the ministry has risen they will just go to papa Ia Deboe. And you just lay hands on him and say you have seen well but a new level and that's the end of it prophetic push is capital it can bless your life it can wipe your tears one prophetic word i've shared with you countless testimonies here to the glory of god maybe i'll just review one or two remember the story i told you about the two women i went to buy sugar cane and two mama old women old women I'm not sure they could even speak English and they were trying to remove they were trying to uh, um, what they call it yes to remove the wrapper so that they remove the small money to pay for sugar cane and I said uh -uh, I may not have much but come on these are my mothers let me bless them and I just bought the sugar cane I don't think I spent up to 100 naira. I can't remember how much exactly and those women were so touched they were blessing me and blessing me and one of them said my son forever walk upon gold how can a woman who is trying to remove five naira she knew what she carried on her head listen don't wait for people's physical result to believe they have it you will be joking you may see a man with 10 members but he must have he can have a king maker anointing he can anoint you and you have a stadium full of membership if all you are looking for is someone else's result no some results are not meant to appear physically they are meant to be transferred and reflected in the life of another it's called a king maker anointing they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who anoint and throne and dethrone kings those of you who have kings in your village you know there are people who sit down with the kings they are called king makers they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who consecrate kings saul never became a king himself but he was the one who made kings and he was the one through god who rejected kings let me tell you there are people who carry graces they may not physically look like it they may not be millionaires but they never lack quarter to shame god will always arise that's a grace you need because all you need in life is not just money bishop oedeko calls it the grace of on time when things come too late they can kill you they should come on time how he got that anointing he said he was a particular man of god i don't know if it was archbishop benson Idahosa or whoever it was who he, you know sent him on errand sent to Edeko on errand then when he was just starting and to show up at a particular time and the person showed up fast and and the Oedeko showed up fast and then the man looked at him and said ah you mean you came at the time he said from today i impart upon you the grace of on time before a need arises the supply comes there is such a grace now you may see people move they are not millionaires but they they carry that possibility 
the moment shame is about to come something must happen to change that result it's a grace impartation by God's grace we have lavishly received impartations in this place impartations I have received impartations I'm like a bee I'm a product of strange graces Jesus himself being the chiefest of them all but there are human vessels there are men who have entered my life and just wiped my tears in certain areas impartation and then a prophetic push I told you prophecy is both revelatory and creative the more superior dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension revelatory dimension gives you faith and direction but when you get to the end of your road you need the creative dimension of prophecy where someone can look at your life and say look physically speaking there is no hope but in the name of Jesus I introduce a reality an equation into your life I was teaching in in, in Akure and I told them the anointing is the, is an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage prophecy this ministry you see there are constant prophecies being bombarded on our heads prophecy 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 where is the prophetic voice pushing you to the next level where is the prophetic voice that's why every time I minister here I pray and I speak over your life from the depth of my heart it's not just copy men of God. I understand the power of the prophetic. Second Chronicles 20, 20. It says, believe in the Lord your God. So shall he be established. Then it says, believe his prophets. So shall he prosper. In other words, don't believe them. And what happens to you? It says, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, were they preserved. The prophetic is real not just calling names and numbers but the ability to speak realities into being taking an advantage of this mystery the capacity to create things because everything that appears comes from the unseen realm so a man can program your destiny through prophecy like an alarm clock you can program an alarm clock to ring at a time you see that you program an alarm clock 327 and the clock will be quiet as if he's dead. 327 on the dot. That's how a man's destiny can be programmed. A man can shift a breakthrough that should happen when you are 49 to happen when you are 25. Prophecy. Prophecy can shift possibilities to and fro. You must understand this. By this time tomorrow, Elisha said. He didn't say God told me by this time tomorrow when he met the shunammite woman he said what should i do to you should i talk to the king he said no no i live among my own people what should i he said well we don't have a child hear what he said he placed a time that's one of the ministry of the prophetic is to place a time for your miracle because the clock must ring he said to appoint unto them that morning zion to appoint so something that would have happened next year they take it and make it happen next week it's a superior dimension of the prophetic. A woman will be coming here, I'm sure, one of these days to share her testimony. She sent a testimony that touched me. Now, this is not the first time we're getting these testimonies, but they are very powerful. I don't have time to look for it in my phone, but I will tell you. She said, I think we're in a program. I don't know which of the meetings now, whether in Yola or whatever. Yes, they were part of those who uh, were in the welfare cooking, cooking for us. And I always pray for all those who cook, those who drive me and cook for me every time I go for any meeting. Now, I prayed for the woman, and according to her, she said, I told her that, what do you want? And she said she wanted twins. And she said it jokingly. And I said, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you twins. Nothing really happened. She got pregnant two weeks after that time. That's the first news. This is a woman that had been barren. And, but when they checked her, there was only one child glory be to God that's all right at least I'm happy that I'm pregnant now and she said just like um, I think maybe a month ago they went back to check and they were twins twins right there you see that 
she sent me a text actually because she started having some little pain like birth pains and they were saying most likely they will use cs so she shared that testimony and she was trying to encourage me to pray for her so she can give birth you know safely and then come and testify the creative dimension of prophecy that can place realities children just come through a man they come from god the moment mary said be it unto me she was pregnant it's just the body of the child and the genetics that come through the man children are a heritage from the lord he said when he led captivity captive he gave gifts to men the question i want to ask you tonight before we pray is have you received your own because the bible says that he gave those gifts to the end that we attain a level you have not attained that level meaning you have not received those gifts have you received the strategies the ideas the wisdom have you received the endorsements accreditations hmm. have you received financial and material resources i'm speaking to somebody from the depth of my heart there are testimonies i can begin to share with you now but if I say some of these testimonies that they are not, it's not even safe for some of us because it may just push you through seasons you are not ready for. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you the truth. Anybody that tells you that God cannot fast track the life of a man is he joking. Look at my life. Look at my life. I've heard of testimonies of people. In this recession, people have arisen and done things you cannot imagine one of the gifts that god has given me in my life i draw me to the leaders and the workers all the time is the gift of men the gift of men is greater than money the gift of men is greater than money there are some things money cannot do are we together listen if you labor on to death i've given this example here you labor on to death and you get five naira and somebody walks up and gives me five naira. Are, are five naira the same? No. Your sweat and your life was drained for that five naira. It's, it's called the mystery of hardship. When you work for everything, you know we encourage diligence here. But your lifetime is not enough for you to get every result by working. You need an advantage. And that advantage is shrouded in men. Not oil. Not real estate. Not banking. Men. men who have you ignored in your life whose voice must speak for you in this season it's not that there are no jobs there are people getting jobs every time just like someone is about to get one now but who is speaking for you oh there are no contracts please keep quiet don't say there are no contracts with 7.2 billion people on earth are you joking there are no contracts there is no contract for you but there's contract but a voice can make it for you come and do a miracle a miracle today you will do a miracle a miracle today listen when you get into trouble hear me who speaks for you there are some of us it's not all about money when you get into trouble who speaks for you there are some of us if things don't work out in our lives we are dead there's nobody to arise and speak for you the bible says valiant men came to david they entered a covenant that they must make him king who is ready to die to see that your cause you criticize a man of god and there's nobody to back him no sir there should be somebody no 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 no. don't say this against pastor femi i love him are we together they just said they had some money in your office you are about to be thrown out you are in trouble and you are innocent just because you are working in the accounts department they are about to jail you in the prison in the in the police station there's nobody to speak for you 
before the law court, nobody to speak for you. They are about to throw you in, nobody to speak for you. Hapa. That's a life with no favor. That every time trouble arises, somebody will come and say, Look, ordinarily speaking, you are supposed to do A and B and C to a Mecca, but I come in. Have you seen people who, when they are fighting, they come and stand and say, Don't beat this person. It's better to beat me. Who can cover you like that? Politicians call them Godfather, God, whatever. Brothers and sisters, we have ignored this to our detriment. One of the blessings God has given me in my life is not just divine immunity and protection. God has raised men, I can tell you this, men who will stand and they won't mind blood coming out of their bodies to make sure they protect my interests and what we represent. And I do not take them for granted, but I am grateful. I have been shocked. A man of God somewhere once said something that was not too nice about me. And I mean, that person, I, I didn't even know. It was when he apologized. More than 100 people called him, blasted nonsense out of his life. I said, God will punish you and punish you and join and punish you. You mix every, the baby and the bad water and think everybody. It was something that was trying to show maybe like all these men, those, you, you know, you know what I mean now. Maybe somebody put his hand in something that is ungodly. Time shall tell. You know those kind of sarcastic statements. And my goodness. And I'm not talking of young people. Married women. The person will say his testimony and blast the man and say, Are you stupid? The man sent me a text. He thought I knew about it, honestly speaking. It was when I got I said, No, 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 no. No offense. I don't have what. Why, why? I mean, I don't keep any offense. What for? Can you have people like that? There are men who can arise to cover your shame. Just because they know you, they will arise and say, no, 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 no. I will cover your shame for you. We have some prayers to pray this night. If our parents had this, they would not be struggling like this. Because every other person who has risen has exactly what they have. Educationally, whatever it is. No help. No help. No help. You work hard, you go to school, almost as if you would die, you graduate, and your, your certificate becomes like a toilet tissue. Nobody to speak on it. The only thing there is the registrar's signature. And life will look at you and say, No, I need another signature. Come on, this is this is this is too regular. Show me another one. You are praying and fasting, but you need to start praying strategically. Don't just pray and say, Lord, send angels. Yes, angels are important. But you need a physical entity moved by those angels. There was a particular time they were going to this. Paul was afraid of entering a city. And God said, no, no, don't be afraid. I have many people there. Nobody will touch you. I have many people, many men there. I'm tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than this. I'm tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than this. There's got to be more. got to be more. There's got to be more than this. There's got to be more. There's got to be more than this. Listen. One of these four things will become your prayer point. I'm going to give us 10 minutes and I will not interrupt you. 10 minutes alone with God. You know what aspect. The Bible says he gave gifts unto men. Ask God, Lord, where is my own? Where is my own gift? Where is the man you have sent with the financial blessing? Where is the man you have sent, oh God? with the prophecy for my next level where is the man you have sent with the idea where is the man to endorse my life my ministry 10 minutes please I don't know how you will pray but the next 10 minutes instrumentalists help us cry before the God of heaven and say Lord I want to receive my own gift you are giving gifts to men Manda caparato sobre da cara. This is a real triumph. Triumph. Two ministry of men. Spiritual exploits. Two ministry of men. Thank you. 
gave endorsement. He gave recommendations. He gave access to platforms through men unto men. Through men unto men. Are you praying? Don't be distracted. Keep praying. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come. In this season of triumph for God, enough of delay, enough of delay. Lord, I'm tired of struggling. One man away, one man away. That man must show up in my destiny. the Lord. Listen, listen. The Lord gave me a promise that when I teach this message, he will release radical breakthroughs to the lives of men. Believe this. You will hear of people's lives changing overnight. Overnight. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, can't you just believe for once? Doesn't your spirit bear witness that this is the key to what brought you here. Man, an advocate. Man. Listen, listen. He said they are taken for a prey, but none say yet restore. They capture you, but there is no man to shout restore. Prayer point number one. Oh God, whoever holds the strategy, the wisdom, the idea, that I need to experience triumph. I open the gates of my spirit and I receive them as gifts. Go ahead and pray. The gift, the gift of wisdom, the gift of understanding, the gift of strategies, business strategies through men, Strategies through men. One man can change your company. One man can change your business. One man can link you up with what ten years has not been able to give you. One man can open up the gates of ministry. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. I open the gates of my spirit. 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 I receive them as gifts. Hallelujah. One man. One man. The difference between you and the next level. Prayer point number two. Listen. Father, 
I have the talent. I am ready for the next level. But there is no ladder to climb. The voice that must endorse me for the next level. I call you by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. The voice endorsing my papers. The voice endorsing my products. The voice endorsing my services. The voice endorsing the hand of God on my life. I call you in the name of Jesus. Prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy. It's time to rise. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Call them. Call them Koinonia. Call them. Call them for your family. Call them for your life. The man to endorse your marriage. The man to endorse access to the man of God who carries the grace you need. The man to endorse your business. The man to endorse your employment. Thy kingdom come, thy will be. Pray, 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 pray with all your heart. Lord, I'm a master's holder. I'm ready for the job. I need an endorser. I'm a PhD holder. I'm a graduate. I need an endorser. Lord, I'm a businessman. I have paid my price. I have done my homework. I need a voice. A voice to speak at the gate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. If you are a parent here, everything you pay, you pray for yourself, pray for your children, whether they are in your womb or they are everywhere. I hear what I'm saying. If you are a lady here, as you pray, you lay your hands on your womb. You don't wait till you get married. Come on. John was filled with the Holy Ghost in his water's womb. You can speak favor to be waiting for that, 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 that child formed in favor prayer point number three you are going to cry now listen 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 i told you there is the sovereign dimension of god's will you are going to cry for help help don't cry for money lord a helper can come i call him to my life lift your voice and pray Masataka parataka tokates, a helper, a helper. Are you praying? A helper. A helper. A helper. It can be this difficult. It can be this difficult. It can be this difficult. Bring a helper to make my life easy, oh God. So that I can have the time to serve you. So that I can have the concentration to focus on my assignment. Lord, I'm tired of financial distractions. Lord, I'm tired of material destructions. Send a helper to clear the way that I can serve you. Send a helper. Are you praying? Are you pray, don't look around, pray. Shaka takata, leke te proto soto te te, e proto soto kota, e helper must show up, e helper must show up, e helper must show up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
the last prayer point Kai, I tell you I'm, 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 I, I feel the joy in my spirit for the prayers who are praying I know this prayer is doing something in the realm of the spirit the last prayer point I want you to pray this with all your heart you are going to cry and say Lord the prophetic push that one you can have it this night right now that one is available for you is up for you to receive you are going to pray and say lord the prophetic push that push i need that impartation that prophetic push for my ministry for my life for my family lord my family is in hellfire we must come out this night lift your voice and pray pray outside pray online pray wherever you're connecting from any nation of the world pray 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 your way to a new level. Pray your way to a new dimension. Pray your way. Shakata kata. Reko to 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 peke peke te. Reko sopo to to bas. Ebra kata naka to seke te. Reko se peke 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 te. Neke peke te bos kapaya kata. Shapa to 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 peke te 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 te. Reko to sopo peke te peke te. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen. Never forget this kingdom key. It's a mystery that has been responsible for the, the mysterious rising of stars. No father, no mother, notwithstanding, they rose. No education, no experience, notwithstanding, they rose. Come on now. Life delayed and battered. The enemy ate a major part of their life, but in one year they recovered through men. Through men. Never forget this. He gave gifts to men. He gave gifts to men. Man of God, I'm 45 years. I've wasted my life. Don't worry. One man, one man can step into your life and answer the question of 10 years. Man of God, my business is grounded. Listen, listen. Do you know, while the Lord asked me to prepare for this message, I was watching Channels TV and I saw how that Eric L was about to pack up because they were in debt. It was so much. And imagine a big, one of the biggest airlines in the country. I love them, of course. I know that there are people who work there who might be listening right now. And for me, I felt so sad because I know how our administration depends on that airline alone. There are places only them can go. And I started thinking, I said, my God, that means there has to be another plan. And the only other plan can be chartered services. And all of a sudden, I just had that Amcon representing the federal government said they are too they are too important to let them crash and they said we're coming to wage you i said this is my message this is my message the federal government how many airlines i don't want to mention names have crashed in our presence federal government waved them and said you, you are in debt but that a man is almost falling and then a hand picks him you are too valuable to fall so i help you listen so you are making a mistake and you are about to die you don't even know what kingdom key then god wakes somebody to start interceding for you because you are too valuable before you catch the revelation someone else is already praying for you you are marvelous yeah. hey. you are marvelous yeah. Value 
is defined by scarcity when you study developmental economics value is defined by what scarcity the ability of a thing to not be available everywhere the most scarce thing is whatever cannot be found on earth that's what he gives you as your reward anointing is not something you get just by fasting anointing is God's reward for trusting him for working with me I give you something that money cannot buy for working with me I give you something that builds you out of shame and inferiority I know you came from a background where nobody knew you and you were foolish enough to work with me then I give you an unction they may criticize you but you don't deny proofs brothers and sisters no sir I'm trusting that God will make someone's life marvelous the key listen the key is not running around the key is staying Martha you are worried and offended about many things but one thing is needful oh God I should have had five children now don't you know he can give you one child that is like a nation Oh God, I've been crying about that job. When we talk about intimacy with God, many busy people think it's a waste of time. No, no, no. Look, I teach us some. No. No. If I follow that route, I would have been a failure today. A big failure. I'm not ashamed. You are the power in me. You are the fire at work in me. You are my ever present helper. Holy Spirit. I... How do you stand and look at someone with a growth and take away that growth? Just like that? How do you look at someone? Who is dead and bring the person back to life there are people here now with situations that doctors have written you off even a charm cannot solve it you need a commodity that is not available in the earth I told you the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference in a few minutes from now 10 years problems will just leave just like that no 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 that's what happens when you value him that's what happens that's what happens listen when you honor a man of God you don't just honor a body you honor the sacrifice the sacrifice of alignment that has caused that man to be able to hold certain dimensions of possibility listen to me all men are not equal no sir it's, it's a very harsh statement but it's the truth we are equal in Christ but our sacrifices and the election of grace are separated men to cadres based on the possibilities they can host ignoring that reality will be to the doom of a man the Holy Spirit we are going to begin to pray but I, 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 I just four things the Holy Spirit you don't know him you are in trouble you will be faced by too many things that your age cannot solve you didn't study everything you had a degree in an area having a degree in engineering or in medicine is not having a degree in wisdom no sir that information is too small to define the quality of your life ministry you need him you want to succeed in life you don't just need information you need a person hallelujah holy spirit it's grace and glory i trust that god will initiate people into that dimension of grace of intimacy with the holy spirit hallelujah yes the holy spirit is speaking to me and he's saying there are seven people here right now that he wants to call like a call into intimacy seven people 
seven people seven people shala brandis kala sabras kele prahas call your people oh god san initiation into a dimension of intimacy the sister outside for he will be real to you real to you by his spirit this is not an issue of jambori it's not an issue of feeling anointed is walking with a person it will make your life a wonder a wonder a wonder he will make your life a wonder he will not just give you anointing he will walk with you walk with you so you become an effulgence of that grace then you can say that which we have seen that which we have heard that which our hands have handled Thank you oh my father for giving me your son and living your spirit in your work in my life is done I thank you Oh my father for giving me your son and me your spirit your word on earth Please sit down if you can. The third thing that you must know is you must understand the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. Please, I want you to be very sensitive. We'll soon arise to pray. Sensitive. Ah, I just saw something jumping out of a lady. Jumping out of a lake. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Forever faithful to what will always provide. Something is happening now. The Lord is showing me a map. You know this happens. And I'm seeing Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. Right now the anointing is touching Southern Kaduna people. Southern Kaduna. This is what I see in the spirit. Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. This is what I see in the spirit. You're from that place. An unction. An unction. I see a map in the spirit. Southern Kaduna. Let the hand of God step into that dimension. It's not a miracle. It's a sign and wonder. It's a demonstration of a dimension of the spirit. Everyone from Southern Kaduna comes under the influence of this grace. Southern Kaduna. Lift them, oh God. I hear my spirit lifting. 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 He's raising you. 
raising you by his spirit raising you there is an unction that makes this possible raising you by his spirit I hope I'll be able to finish this the mysteries of the kingdom that's the third thing that you must seek to know not just the word of God not just Rema the mysteries there is a lady in overflow three one is here two is the one by the road three is the one by the empty land there is a lady overflow three the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming upon her please I want I want her to come overflow three I'm seeing like an arrow right from this building right down there please sit down let's hurry up so that we can do a quick walk there are so many people you must access the mysteries of the kingdom everybody say mysteries a mystery is a secret code of operation the kingdom of God operates based on systems and you see these mysteries contain in them the revelations of God the revelations of God alongside the dimensions of his power I've taught us here that there are two dimensions of God's power the first dimension of God's power is enshrined in mysteries and principles the second dimension of God's power is enshrined in a relationship two dimensions of God's power so you don't have to be born again to experience the first dimension the moment a principle is consistent with the character of God it will release a dimension of the power of God like tithing like sowing and reaping like being responsible like mentorship all of these are principles in the kingdom that are backed up by God's own character you must access the principles of the kingdom therein lies the key to your dominion it is a terrible thing to be in the face of life and not know what to do you must know what to engage for the outcomes you desire Can you tell me you understand the mystery that governs restoration? You know restoration is a possibility in the kingdom. But what is the code of operation that is responsible for releasing that dimension of possibility? Because the Bible lets us know that both the years and even substances that a man loses can come back. But do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make that possible? Are we together? Do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make a sick person healthy? Yes, you know that divine healing is a possibility. But what controls it? Laying on of hands? No. No. Laying on of hands is just a channel. The inner workings is the spiritual understanding that backs that. Are we together now? You have to understand the power of God is released through light. Remember the scripture Habakkuk. There was the hiding place of his power. Are we together? When you understand that, you don't have to lay hands on men to heal them. It doesn't even have to be a miracle service. The very understanding you have will respond to a man's need the same way if i stand with you and i have say tuberculosis you're a doctor doctor if i have tuberculosis and you stand near me must i believe in you to receive it no listen to me carefully are we together now i'm standing close to you it vetoes whether i agree with you i can even be insulting you but that's none of the business of the tuberculosis once there is proximity it will enter you you will live angry but you must receive it so if i can transfer sickness why can i not transfer health are you seeing that now that means i can stand close to you and transfer something from me to you life being the light of men you see that that's the concept of whatsoever is born of God. Not whosoever, whatsoever is born of God. 
can overcome not by jacking yourself an understanding grants you access to that dimension in the spirit where you can walk in it so you can come with a challenge you can come with a sickness like some of you are here now trusting God all kinds of impossible situations they've told you it cannot be solved they are right based on their understanding this is a doctor they are not wrong based on their understanding but God's God's manifold wisdom introduces possibilities you see he says with God with God watch this I've taught you alone it is impossible but with God with God alone I cannot call but with my phone with in partnership with God all things all things all things are possible I want you to look at the situation we came here with for the last time tonight because in the name of the Lord God of heaven it will go hmm. my assignment tonight is to bring it face to face with the power that created the universe not the power that governs Nigeria not the power that governs UN the power that created the heavens and the earth for he upholds all things by the word of his power number three that's it there mysteries so number one you must know God number two that's redemption and everything that concerns God in the person of Jesus number two you must understand the ministry of the Holy Spirit the third thing you must have access to the word you must crave for accurate understanding number four this is a mystery I believe that has been known by very few and I truly believe with all my heart that is one of the things that God has anointed me to reveal is the mystery of the body the fourth thing you must know if you want to excel is you must understand the mystery of the body of Christ this strategy called the body of Christ the body of Christ is not just people the body of Christ many people say the body of Christ is not just a church there are people the body of Christ is not people the body of Christ is a strategy the only strategy capable of birthing the purposes of God is called Ecclesia the body of Christ the body of Christ is not a people it's a strategy that's why he said I will build it I will build it he didn't say I will make it I will build it like a formula like a plan and I will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable the gates of hell will not prevail against it there is a formation that the body of Christ is built it is so formidable the gate of hell can only touch members not the body the body was built by a system that cannot be touched by the gate of hell are we together never forget this many people have been robbed of the full dimension of the power of God first Corinthians 11 verse 30 remember for this cause many are weak many are sickly it is here for these causes there is only one reason why people are not able to rise to represent the fullness of God he said for this cause many are weak limited for this cause many are sickly and for this cause many sleep when was the last time you went for funeral and they told you somebody died because he did not discern the body that's what killed him please pay attention get my teachings discerning the body that whole series you have to listen if you are in ministry here or you are a church leader a deacon you have to listen to it if not you will never rise a body has thou prepared for me it was prepared to be used a formidable strategy that beats hell hands down it's called the body of Christ everything is available in the body listen carefully so if it is not available in your life it is available in the body you have to learn that any possibility my life is not manifesting does not define the possibility of God it is only the possibility of my experience but that reality is available are we together now yes 
son of man can these bones live and Ezekiel said this is not a possibility within my frame of reality he says let me show you the body the body this body is a mystery it was built with a formula Christ being the chief cornerstone immediately after Christ two strange ministries the apostolic and the prophetic then the building rises you must follow that formula to be formidable it is the building of the body so when you see a man telling you you don't need any man in your life don't depend on any man it's only God they are sincere in that they are trying to balance human worship but that's a destructive revelation that will kill you because please listen to my message I'm just doing a quick recap because I'm telling you the things to study we'll begin to pray listen carefully I told you that there are mantles and there are systems remember the teaching yes a system represents a covenant with God that releases a dimension of his possibility within the dispensation of that civilization it's called a system so in every dispensation there is a way and manner God wants to be known and the way he advances that knowledge of him is through covenant your relationship with God your spiritual growth is based on relationship but kingdom advancement is based on covenant so when God wants to release a dimension of him to a generation he finds a man listen he enters a covenant with that man that for as long as that man is alive he represents the spiritual system for releasing that possibility to that dispensation no one alive in that dispensation will taste of that dimension of God without believing or in alignment to that system this is how the kingdom is Abraham represents the system of the blessing the journey of a believer's blessing starts from him system are we together now Elijah represents God's system of purifying and preparing men for revival Elijah is not a man Elijah is a system I've taught you this the first manifestation of the spirit of Elijah was seen in Noah Elijah always precedes the great and terrible day of the Lord the moment there is a visitation upon a people Elijah must come that's why Elijah is still alive God's apostolic and prophetic system that prepares men for revival for the move of God is called Elijah is a system the man Elijah died he's simply a man named after the system the system continues the Antichrist is a system not just a person you see that Peter a system that represents faith systems on earth today there are men who are not just human beings but systems when you trace the ministry of the Holy Spirit it can start from anywhere you choose upon the earth today right now it will end with Benny Hinn. you see that Benny Hinn is not carrying a mantle he's a system he represents that possibility no one will enter into the healing ministry without honoring what he represents to the body this is called the mystery of discerning the body Kenneth Copeland today represents God's system of faith and prosperity start from any point in the world you will start moving from mantle to mantle grace to grace and it will land back in him there are many systems like that you will never get this through prayer and fasting no matter how you pray God will lead you to those people he will give you encounters but he will lead you there is a system I have provided it is your alignment with that system that will produce those possibilities how much of the body do you know imagine what would have happened into your life now if you could discern the body discerning the body is different from destiny helpers destiny helpers are not systems destiny helpers they may not even be born again they are just people that God anoints to help you get to your destiny there are bodies terrestrial and there are bodies celestial he says even among the stars one different from another in glory not in shape in glory hallelujah praise the lord 
if you had discernment for the body you probably would have been healed since if you had discernment for the body you probably would have been blessed since many people want to be rich but they criticize those who represent the systems that deliver that possibility there is no amount of prayer and fasting that will bring you into that possibility because when you scorn the grace that represents that reality you authorize that door to close it only opens to honor not even seats honor if your seat sowing is a communication of that honor then it opens are you seeing that now i can't criticize papa Ia Deboy and bishop oyedeko and one crowds and multitudes it's impossible carry posters everywhere it will not happen there is a system this is not publicity it's a spiritual reality so in honor of what they represent i am authorized to access that reality that's why you are here tonight let me tell you something listen carefully you see this thing you call koinonia koinonia is not a ministry koinonia is a system you have to believe this it's a system it's not a movement it's not a fellowship it's not a group it's a system it's a system that has become a portal to release certain possibilities of god i, I want you to be very hopeful so that when you come you don't have to be afraid there is something about the atmosphere so no matter how far you are you have come to mount zion certain things happen this is not just some human bragging a man of god trying to shine his ministry no tonight you're standing face to face with possibilities that are contained in god please listen to me you're standing face to face with a reality that you now possess that can change your ministry your business your family is standing face to face with a challenge and what you're about to watch within the next few minutes is what i call the dominion power of light over darkness the invincibility of the wisdom and the might and the power of god over darkness it will happen at the speed of light converting your prayer request to a testimony it's not trying to believe a reality here and now hello him adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done hello him adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done hello
Jesus, I believe your power is here. Let your power give me a testimony. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Let it end every captivity. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it break every burden in my life. Hallelujah. Keep standing, everyone. I want to make an altar call quickly. Right now, everyone stand. There are people here, overflow one, two, three, following us online in this place right now. The Bible says this life is in his son. You don't hear about the son and receive life. You meet the son. There are people standing here, men and women scattered around. You are a pastor, leader, deacon, gentleman, lady, old, young, rich, poor, regardless of your status. Jesus said, ye must be born again. There are people here who have not met Jesus. We have to do this very fast because there will be such an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in this place. You are here inside and outside. You have heard what I said. And whilst I was speaking, the Spirit of God, the one we so honor, was beginning to minister to you that you must make your ways right with God and then you've been here and for some reason you've been one leg in and one leg out loved God was on fire but different things happen somewhere around your life and you're here probably standing inside and outside and wondering man of God can I join them most welcome I want to count one to five and um, now this is how we we'll do it I want you to come the first sets of people can come out when they come and here is full then all the others that come will just stand at their various overflows just close to your projector but I want to count one to five and I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain right now one quickly quickly run to Jesus from the depth of your heart you can keep standing you don't have to lie down or kneel down God bless you you don't have to kneel down, madam. You can stand. Quickly. Two. Don't think about it. Run to Jesus. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. Man of God, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. I remember coming out for altar call one day but right now I'm not sure no if you are not sure you have to come out when a woman is pregnant she knows you are not sure join them something is wrong with what happened to you three are you coming apostle I'm trying to come out but my neighbor is stopping me we rebuke that spirit trying to stop you come out come to Jesus Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Let this be the beginning of the miracle service for you. I think we have enough people inside now. Every other person that comes, just direct them to their various overflows outside. Those coming from outside, you can wait there now. In every moment, I'm away. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way in me. Hallelujah. Madam, look at me. You, you love Jesus Christ? Come. I'm seeing you. You are not working well. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with her? Who brought her? Because I looked at you and I saw you limping and then I saw in the realm of the spirit severe pain. Come. What's wrong with you? From where are you? Program. So she now told me that I should come and attend the program. So For I have diabetes and ulcer. And my back pain here from the back here down to my leg. Everything. Yes. I'm feeling the pain very well. 
that is why she asked me to come and do the program with you people here. So that is why I came here. Mommy, look at me. Every one of them, you heard what I said? Everyone will leave you here and you'll go back to Abuja. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that? Yes, ma'am. Of course, if it doesn't work, your sister will not ask you to come. Hallelujah. I'm going to lead you people to pray. Join them to pray. We're going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ and all that devil will go. The ultimate cure is not the prayer for healing. The ultimate cure is Jesus. A man was brought to Jesus crippled and he says, Thy sins be forgiven. And people say, Ah, what is this? And Jesus said, Which is easier? Hi! That means to be healed is easier than to be saved. So it's not as easy. It's not just recitation. Are we together? Mama, I'll pray for you. Go back and join them. Those of you standing here, the overflow, lift your right hand and sincerely, you are not reciting a poem. From the depth of your heart, I want you to say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus. No, some of you are crying, but don't worry. Jesus sees your tears. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. You shed your blood for me. You rose again for me. And tonight, I receive your life. I receive your grace. I receive your spirit. I declare that I'm born again. I'm a child of God in the name of Jesus. Victory is given to me over sin, over the flesh, and over the world in Jesus' name. Please keep your hands lifted. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of sin, the power of the flesh and the world over you is broken right now. I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that the life of God is at work in you beginning from today. The Lord transforms your life by his spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to do something for me very quickly. Please cooperate with all the people, um, whether outside any of the overflows. There is a gentleman waving his hand, some um, of the... Uh, ushers there i want you to just follow them quietly and then give them your correct details very quickly this is so that we'll follow you up and then we'll get to see you so do that very very quickly very quickly madam i will pray for you you go and write your name and come back while we are waiting for them please make sure we're going to be very fast you see that our time is gone so it's going to be a very quick walk very quick walk we're going straight to the business of the night and i want you to believe it doesn't take time it only takes god it doesn't take time it only takes god very very quickly very very quickly we're going to trust the lord to please ushers coordinate them very quickly and uh, let's have them back because we want to pray now are we together everyone say after me in the name of jesus Please be serious in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every spirit, every force, every influence standing against God's word over my life, I declare that you are under judgment tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Shala bras kada baladia. Shabratas kala brato shobrige de balada balada ba. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are always spirits behind the tragedies of men. Whether or not you know, it is there. And until those influences are taken out of your life, victory is far from your reach. Are we together? Number two, I want you to decree and declare that the fire of God must fall upon every challenge you came here with. Say, Lord, visit it one by one. 
until there is total victory don't let the challenge don't let the challenge limit you take your eyes away from it and pray Are you praying inside and outside? Thank you, Jesus. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? Lift your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent such a strong anointing in this place tonight lift your hands and just be silent please I'm seeing two numbers five and one and the Lord is saying there are 51 people here 51 people he's bringing massive deliverance to their families I want you to bring them out 51 people don't shout don't do nothing just keep your hands the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands and the power of God that unction for deliverance will move like wildfire all through the overflows right now I stretch my hands in the name of the Lord God whose I am and whom I serve right now I release the ministry of angels Mighty deliverance right now. Bring them out. Shalabrakataya. Break it to Shubrata Kalabraska Labriana. Shapras Katabrakatele Katia Labas. So break it Ali Praska Bariata. Embre Koto Shoto Pareketa. The fire of God is visiting individuals for their families. I see fire burning. That's what I'm seeing. Bring them out. Just keep your hands lifted. The angel of his presence moving inside and outside. Moving inside and outside. Please quickly, let's have them. Overflow one. I see a strange activity of angels. Strange deliverance. Shigala para koto soto balada. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty in God. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Seketela kata. Keep your hands lifted. You you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. Help that lady, please. You are mighty young. Break forth down fountains of the deep. And with Kadosh, keep your hands lifted. I'm seeing snakes. That's what I'm seeing. Just flying up. Snakes. I'm seeing many ladies being delivered from this influence. Right now, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. 
Mateketa, Lekete Prakata. I put the word of God upon this prophecy. In the name of Jesus, I release upon it the power to perform. Shakatakata, those influences. In the name of Jesus, I release judgment, 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 judgment upon every strange influence limiting the life of God's people. Break forth down fountains of the deep and weep and weep and weep that are you reign you reign you reign you reign hallelujah now lift your hands Jesus I'm seeing gates gates with chains one shout is what will bring that gate down are you ready just a shout of the name of Jesus one two three I open those gates Be open by the unction of the Spirit. Gates be open. Ephata be open. The gates must open. Tonight is a miracle service. I prophesied the two lift gate be open. The two lift gate. Many of you don't know what is happening in the realm of the spirit. I tell you, I see gates, gates of destinies, gates of possibilities that are being held by witchcraft, gates over families. No progress, no results. I come tonight with an apostolic and a prophetic anointing. Gates be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Listen. Listen to me. A gate is what gives a man access. Access into a place. Access out of a place. The Bible says to open the doors of prison. There are men who are moving. But they are under prison there's nothing hear me you may be here listening to me there's nothing you do that works no matter how you try seek advice it will not work no matter what you do you are not bad you are not lazy but there is a spirit but right now lift your hands in the name of Jesus one more time I come against the spirit that stand as gatekeepers over the victory of people over the life of people at the count of three I want you to shout that name the name that is a key that opens the gate one two three I open it I open it I open it online outside I command it to open I command it to open Locked by ancestry, locked by divination, locked by necromancy and projection, manipulation of the constellations. I command in the name of He that holds the key of David, I command that door be open, that no power can shut. Be sensitive tonight. The spirit of God is moving. One of the ushers. One of the ushers. You are an usher. But the unction of the spirit. Help her. Visiting your family. Visiting your family. 
Alléluia. Alléluia. I'm seeing a lady quickly. There's no time to speak. Our time is gone. We have to pray for the sick. But I'm seeing a lady. You have two sisters. Two of them are barren. They are married, no children. Please, where are you? It's part of your prayer request. You are wearing a black dress. You are the one. Come. Hello, Himatona. Thy kingdom come. I will be blessed. Ah, there's witchcraft in your family. Look at me. Come. You are a great lady, but there is terrible witchcraft in your family. There is a lady. Again, the Lord is opening my eyes. I don't know why this happens. I'm seeing a map, Benway, Benway, Benway people get ready, Benway, 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 I see Benway and the Lord says stretch your hands and bring deliverance to men in Benway, I stretch my hands right now, the anointing of the spirit, visiting people, Benway, 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 by the spirit of God, by the spirit of God, hear me, and I'm hearing in my spirit, break the covenant of motherhood, I don't know what this means but this is something that has to do with a covenant involving women i arrest it right now in the name of jesus i see fire dropping right now people from benway you are from benway you come under this influence please help that person. benway benway the spirit of the living god the spirit of the living god traveling to benway breaking covenant I speak to the soil of that land. Release the destinies tied with you. Listen. What I'm seeing is not good. The Lord is taking me to a vision. And I'm standing. And I'm seeing black ropes around trees. This is Otuko. Black ropes tied around trees. And the Lord tells me that the destiny of men were tied to those trees in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. At the count of three, may the fire that the God of Elijah commanded, I command it right now upon every shrine, every activity of darkness. In the name of Jesus, let it come upon you now. Let it come upon you now. Let it come upon you now. Hallelujah. The supernatural, I've taught you, operates only in partnership with five elements. Listen. Without one or more of these elements, the supernatural cannot find the expression I am seeing a wild this is a serpent I'm looking at this person and I'm not seeing a human being again I'm seeing a serpent I stretch my hands the Bible says for the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not now listen carefully five elements of the supernatural number one is light the supernatural cannot find expression until it can use the medium of light. Number two, the air, sound. The supernatural cannot find expression until there is a medium of sound. Number three, the earth. The earth is a universal point of contact. Every living thing makes contact with it. Number three, are we together? Number four, water. The mystery that bears witness. Water is not an entity, water is history. Water is a memory bank of the realm of the spirit. Contained within it are more mysteries than we understand. Number five, fire. A mystery entity that does not run away from anything and yet consumes everything. Purifies and destroys. Can make and kill. The only personality with the quality of fire is God. Can make a life and destroy. It would destroy another thing and in it lift another thing. Purify gold and destroy the impurities. 
I want us to use one of the elements of the supernatural. Because everyone is standing on the ground. I want to pray for you. The Lord is asking me to break delay. Please just follow me. We are coming to the sick people. But just follow me tonight. Let's walk circumspectly. I'm seeing people whose feet have been tied down. They cannot move. You are here no matter what you do. There is no progress. This is the story of your family. Look at me. The Lord wants to visit you first. Even before your family. Your two sisters. They are married. No child. Are you married? You are not married. We have to pray. I don't know if you believe what I'm telling you. But God is raising you to be a savior in your family. Believe this thing. No. You may not look like it. But it is the spirit of Deborah. But first and foremost, you must be delivered first. God is not finished with her. I command that devil, go. There is no hiding in his presence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, my dear. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God whom I serve, I command the reign of witchcraft as I hold you right now. Over your sisters, over your life and over your family, I command them to be broken right now. I release upon you grace for restoration. In the name of Jesus, and I pray for you that grace of Deborah that causes women to rise with the strength of men. I release that grace upon you. I want you to go and tell your sisters the Lord brings a visitation to them, even as He did to Hannah at Shiloh. The Lord comes for them with strange visitations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, all those under the anointing, I command the spirits any spirit. That has been located by God must leave the victims. Therefore, in the name of Jesus and at the count of three, you know my voice. I represent His Majesty. At the count of three, you must let them go now and forever. One, two, three, be gone. Go out of their lives, destinies, now and forever. Out of their lives, out of their destinies. I prophesy recovery. I prophesy recovery. I prophesy recovery. For when a thief is caught, he's made to pay back tenfold. I command recovery in the name of Jesus. Let them go. There is no hiding, for his light shines upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. If there is any project you are involved in, lift your hand. Any project. Business project, building project, please just lift your hands. Before I pray, we pray the prayer that will release speed. Projects. Ah. I'm standing and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord walking across this place and I'm standing here and he's saying I should stretch my hands here there is a visitation that is coming for the people here therefore I stretch my hands Lord your will be done I don't know those who you are bringing perfection to them right now in the name of Jesus I release that unction and that grace everyone within this vicinity let there be supernatural deliverances and supernatural miracles help them in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now everyone is standing I want to pray for you please listen there is such a thing as advancement in a man's life it's not a doctrine it's an experience where a man can make progress spiritually financially business wise if you are in a position for a long time it's a sign that something is wrong are we together it says ye have come past this mountain long enough then it tells you the formula the door is in the north it said turn northwards turn northwards you have come past this mountain long enough I want you to stand on the ground I see physical fire rising and sweeping consuming people's feet some of you as this is happening you will hear the sounds of physical chains literally physical chains this will happen I want us to shout the name of Jesus three times that's what the Holy Ghost is telling me 
I will lead you and you will shout it. The third time, the chains of delay and stagnation will, will break open. Many of you physically, physically you feel it happening. Thank you, Jesus. Let the word of God come upon this prophecy. Are you ready now? Number one. Are you ready? Number two. Now I want you to get ready. That grace that came upon Elijah and caused him to run, overtaking the chariots of Ahaz. Speed and advancement is coming on people right now. Are you ready? Shout Jesus. Receive it now. Receive it now. Let the earth deliver to your destiny the keys of advancement. I command you to advance. I command you to move forward. I break limitations. I break limitations. I command advancement. Outside advancement. The overflows advancement. May that anointing hit you. Advancement. 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 In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, no power can stop you. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than many. Help me. Our God is healer, awesome in power. your hands towards me don't lift it up stretch it towards me there is there is going to be an activation of strange gifts strange gifts strange gifts strange gifts the time for impartation will come but fire is living and it's coming upon people and the Lord said let them stretch their hands in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands back to you in the name of Jesus gift 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 don't man gift don't man gift where is it I call it forth now don't man gift don't man gift you may not know it's there I'm not talking of the gifts of the spirit I'm talking of potentials gift gift I stir it up right now like a well, I command it. Like the axe head, I command it to float right now. I command it to float right now. Gifts that will bring you honor. Gifts. So toko toko tope reke teke te. Gifts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gifts. There is a lady. I'm looking at you now in the realm of the spirit. You are dressed in something that looks like orange, like the house are dressing from your head to who is that? Who is that? Come from this row. Jesus praise. What's your name? Veronica. From where? I came from Abuja. You came from Abuja. As I stood here, I was hearing your prayer, and you were saying, Lord, let this man of God locate me. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that two things now. Number one is captivity and reproach is being rolled away from your life. That's the first thing that is happening to you. Captivity and reproach. Captivity and reproach. Inside, inside the main auditorium, from where people sit in front, count nine lines, nine rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The power of God is coming on somebody on that row right now. Inside. Inside. 
is a strange miracle coming for that person the ninth row supernatural manifestation of the power of god my sister what do you want the lord to do in your life uh -uh. you are just generalizing huh i'm looking at you oh, and then i'm seeing your heart and i'm seeing should i say it do you believe you can are you married huh where's your husband did you come with him what do you want the lord to do for him see this man is your real prayer that's that's you want the lord to honor him and what what is he doing now i'm seeing him leaving that place oh, to another place that has been your desire go and tell him that a man of god has prophesied to him that he's going to leave that place supernaturally supernaturally and that he should stop wasting his time over the person he's calling all the time to help him that's not where his help will come from go and tell him that the lord said he can raise help anywhere in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen there is a lady here in this room in this um place i'm hearing grace please let's hurry up quickly so i can leave this place we have to pray for the sick i'm hearing grace grace who is that you are down at that side grace who is that wearing red grace that's okay grace your name is grace this is not this is is it maimuna is it maimuna or something i'm hearing a name maimuna 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 i wish we had time today but we have to pray for the sick i want us to leave this very fast because i'm going to counsel well just leave her i found the person but but you come my dear i want to pray who is this no 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 it's not just any grace i'll pray for you my dear lift your hands god wants to visit your family there are four people here a very strange unction for revelation and teaching is coming upon you now no 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 four of you right now a strong power is hitting you right now just in this this place outside i don't know what it is about this place maybe the miracle services will start coming here now there is there's real faith in this place my dear i end it now i end it now in the name of jesus christ keep your hands on her stomach i end it now i command that reproach taken from your life in the name of jesus don't come out for social reasons but i'm seeing a lady here you have suffered a very terrible infection this is a, a woman issue a terrible infection this thing you have treated it and done everything you know to do but it has refused to go this is witchcraft it's not just a normal infection you have spent your money but right now the lord is saying i should prophesy to you that it comes to an end complete end right now in the name of jesus christ complete end i stretch my hands four people right now here in this row lord where are they one is a lady three are gentlemen step into that dimension that's right help them thank you jesus hold on there is a mother here god wants to wipe yes madam who is a gala here hold on you are a gala from where from where Oppo. what is that is there a place like that in the gala land huh in kogi state so that you don't come and tell us lies if, if you are not from there just wait there is your turn will come from lift your hands i'm seeing an attack on your life and your family and the lord is you free madam where is your child did you come with your child There's no time to waste, please. I'll just pray for you so that we can go. In the name of witchcraft, now. And on you right now. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hand. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. 
say it in the name of jesus the anointing of the holy spirit is bringing into my life strange testimonies lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice those outside are you praying lift your voice and begin to pray kai one of the things listen hold on i'm seeing now i want you to believe it i just looked up and i started hearing the cry of as if babies just fill the room listen carefully i just lifted i wanted to move and i just lifted my eyes and the lord told me that one of the major miracles he's doing tonight is giving people children if you are standing in for barrenness whether you are in any overflow please come in i want to minister to you by myself barrenness only barrenness please husband and wife if you are standing for barrenness except you are standing in for someone if you are standing alone you must be married praise god if you are standing alone you must be married in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you by the power of the holy spirit please stand you can go you can go pastor alpha now we are going to pray and while they are doing that let's buy time ushers move around all the overflows make sure you collect the request of everybody i notice overflow three there are few people attending to them there so let's have people you see why we need more ushers and we need more people say after me father, father. everyone shout it father, father. We, receive we receive your visitation in the name of jesus we receive miracles signs and wonders now please accept they ask you you don't have to tell them what is wrong don't worry the hand of god is here to bless you in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise those online i want you to connect by faith and trust the power of god to touch you we have very few minutes to do this and in the name of jesus will be done no matter what the issue is as we touch you start checking yourself you can register your testimony we'll take it on friday whether you are standing in for someone don't worry the power of god is there to touch you in the name of jesus father we give you all the praise do you know why i came here because i saw that this woman your issue is not just healing hold on i saw the, her holding pictures and a passport and then i'm looking at it and i saw a plane is it something like you were staying outside the country is that true yes sir. because i'm seeing a woman a plane bringing you is that true uh -uh. and the lord is opening my eyes i'm seeing another vision i'm seeing a quarrel between you and a man like your husband and that man drove you yes sir. he drove yes sir. from where from abroad where is abroad Qatar. from where where is he this is you Ah. oh my god this is a baby look at me why did he drive you away you see why prophecy is powerful look at this woman come madam i looked at these things and the lord told me that this woman needs help i know i'm taking time but let's attend madam don't cry it's okay where were you before no other man we are together in our blood we are together are you, were you married yes sir you are from where benway state sir you are from benway yes sir you said i told you what god was saying about benway you you married him and went abroad yes sir then what happened he said as you come back my paper is having issue not knowing that he went and married secretly from my community so he lady, married another woman yeah from my same community sir he's staying abroad with her Yes, sir. He drove you away with the baby. Yes, sir. No, he, he drove me when the pregnancy was one week. <laughs> Did he know you were pregnant? No, sir. Immediately I took it. He now see, said I should come see, back. Man, listen. This this is what we, we keep saying again and again. Please listen to me. Now I don't mean no disrespect, but you see why ladies will tell you people. To marry people who are born again not just people who have money huh? don't let anybody just come and show you one shoe one bag and just carry you around like that it must be godly look at what this man did for this woman one week and left her with this innocent child so where are you staying now 
I'm staying out in Abuja. So my it's sister, from Abuja you came? Yes, sir. What do you want God to do for you? I want God to bring him back for me, sir. He married another woman. Yes, sir. She knew you were his wife. Yes, and she still came and married. Yes, my dad is also here, sir. Where's your dad? Daddy, please come, sir. Oh, he cannot walk. After my marriage, I now send stroke to him, sir. He's from okay, Benway too. Yes, sir. Why am I seeing light leaving you to this man? Come. What's your relationship with her? He's my stepbrother. I'm a first, uh, I mean, stepbrother, the firstborn of the family. You are the firstborn? Yes, sir. From where? From a penal state. You are suffering. Hi. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Nothing is working your life. Yes, sir. At all. You need the hand of God. Look at your father. Look at this man. Look at this dear man. You see this? This, brothers and sisters, believe it or not, is what witchcraft looks like. Are you seeing this? Whether you are in Qatar or wherever, if that spirit is not destroyed, this is what it will do. Because I stood and I looked at her and I saw a plane carrying a woman. But she didn't look. If you see this woman, does she look like somebody who has gone abroad? I'm not insulting you. You can see that this woman was not even treated well. Suffered with the man. Now we went abroad and sent her back. When this baby now, if we decide to carry this baby and take care of this baby, when this baby becomes responsible, the man will now call the court and come and say he wants his child back. Then they will now accuse men of God and accuse everybody and say everybody is stupid. You are using the baby to make to get power. You see why sometimes we avoid these things. It's not because we cannot help people honestly. It's because sometimes the media right now are experts at stigmatizing men of God. You do anything to try to help this baby now, you'll be in trouble. Are we together? Holy share. Help me. You're the God of us. He stood up your power. The Lord is opening my eyes. The same spirit that made that man drive you is making him fight with this woman now. They are not even... No, 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 no. I'm not seeing peace. Huh? I'm not seeing peace. I'm seeing a situation where this man is coming and checking the woman's phone. And then I'm seeing another man's text. And the man is giving her a dirty slap. Slap on her face. The Bible says what God has joined. What's his name? Simon, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that created the heavens and the earth, I call you back to your wife. In the name of Jesus, may you encounter a man of God and an anointing that will save you and deliver you there. And I declare in the name of Jesus, this baby will not be a bastard. Baby, I speak to you. Every foundational thing programmed in your spirit as a baby, we cancel it right now. Madam, look at me. I decree and declare the favor that was on Esther that made Hadassah look at her once and had to call her to be his queen. May that favor come upon you. Listen, don't go to any native doctor. You hear me? Because I'm seeing one mama coming to you in Abuja and she's telling you that there's somebody. She told you he's a man of God. He's a native doctor. Don't go anywhere. Huh? And number two, anybody that says you should bring one naira. What did I say? One naira for prayer. Just thank him and walk away. If, if this poor woman, you still collect money from her for prayer, then you must be a very wicked person, isn't it? In the name of Jesus, he will return with testimony. My brother, come. Are you walking? 
What do you want God to do in your life? I'm, I'm a pastor, so when I, I mean, God called me into ministry. So in the field, the back to the, I mean, the came so tough, the, the attack and the uh, foundation, it became so strong, so I took up. I, I couldn't stay. But up, up to now, God is still calling me back to where I serve him. I've been serving him to. Where, where were you serving? In Kogi State. No. You need mentorship, you need covering, you need impartation. You don't just get up like that and go into ministry. God saved you, they would have killed you like a chicken. There are rules to this thing. Eh? It's not just because you touch somebody and he fell down, you get up and go to Kogi State. Do you know what pursued you back? Eh? is the mercy of god is not witchcraft they would you would have died like a chicken please listen i'm not scaring you but there are systems don't get up out of zeal and just say i am anointed be careful as powerless as satan is is your understanding that this depowers him if you don't have that understanding you can be anointed and your life will be destroyed praise the lord my brother hold my hands i'm not just seeing you doing ministry truly you need help eh? you need help after service come and see this man pastor alpha eh? after service come and see him he will talk with you and guide you and train you and help you in the name of jesus christ a time of prophecy and activations some of you are here because you desire higher levels of unction in your ministries your lives your businesses the prophetic word of god is very powerful when there is grace back in it because it does not only reveal it creates are we together in the next about two or three minutes i want your heart to genuinely and desperately be open be open in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a grace walking in this gentleman you are the first i know you are doing protocol work but you are the first to receive this grace i see a grace of two of you supernatural grace of the holy ghost taking you to a new dimension in the spirit hallelujah venga come grace another dimension of fire lift your hands grace fresh fire fresh dimension fresh fire fresh dimension fresh fire fresh dimension you speak and there is power of performance power of performance power of performance power of performance no word will be empty you speak and there's grace and the power of performance hallelujah someone come and hold victor come come and hold them somebody grace supernatural influence and wisdom and victory in a strange dimension a dimension you have never seen in your life in the name of Jesus supernatural grace I open up that level grace in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ, the of Jesus Christ. where shall they we're rounding up they are doing their there's someone Hold her. I don't want. Hold the child. Speaking, we have just a minute or two. Hold her. Make sure that ladies, you come and hold her. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is quickening the power of sight, the grace to see, grace to see, the grace to see. Make sure you are holding her well. The grace. To Penny, you are taking back fresh fire. Fresh fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh fire. I'm not, it's not like I'm just speaking people. This is, this is just by the Spirit. Come. The Lord is bringing glory on you. Fresh fire. Give it upon your hands. In 
the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, you see, hold on. We're out of time, but Pastor, house on the rock, come. You have been desiring something for a long time. Come. God is giving it to you in this season. In the name of Jesus. May that fire, may that grace take a drink of that wine in the name of Jesus. Fresh unction. Fresh unction. Capacity. Open up your capacity in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a heavy spirit on that small girl. In the name of Jesus Christ. Place it on her. Just place it on her. Leave, leave it there. In the name of Jesus. Judgment upon that devil. This foul spirit. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but I want you to receive. Let me start with the men of God. You are a ministry here. It's time to take something heavy and something genuine. Let me pray. Jamfa, come. Ejimi, come. I'm seeing it. A new, a truly new grace and a new wine. New grace. And a new one is supernatural dimension. Dimension. This grace will speak in unbelievable ways. Lord, bring him into that experience. In the name of Jesus. Truly bring him into that experience. I open up. I open up. I open up. Close fountains. I open up now. Close fountains. I open up now. Fire. Fresh grace for influence 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 business influence new grace new dimensions of wealth influence commanding miracles strange miracles collect that child from hope collect that child from hope in the name of jesus fresh fire hope i activate that dimension fresh fire in the name of jesus god is giving you eyes that see strange dreams revealing direction for people's lives in the name of jesus where's aaron aaron where's aaron in the name of jesus christ the lord says i should tell you seasons of reward are before you seasons of great and strange reward father let it be by the power of your spirit by the power of your spirit lift your hands in the name of jesus christ Something is coming strong. Go. The unction for new levels in ministry at the count of three. If you are here in ministry, there is a call of God upon your life. One, two, that fire comes now. Take that fire now. Take that fire. A new level of ministry, a new level of power. A new level of grace never to be barren never to be barren never to be barren never to be barren where's Yerima head of department media please come quickly quickly I'm praying where is he oh that's in there in the name of Jesus the Lord says he's bringing you honor untold honor Untold honor by the spirit of the living God. Untold honor. Untold honor. Untold honor. Now I decree and declare. Jordan. Where's Jordan? Jordan bookstore. I hear restoration. Where are you? Restoration. Fire. That restoration fire. In the name of Jesus. Everything the canker worm. The palmer worm has stolen. Restoration. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God comes upon you. And you begin to run like Elijah. I prophesy speed. Receive it now. Receive it now. Speed, speed, speed. Speed. By the unction of the Spirit. Speed. By the unction of the Spirit. 
speed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every helper of your destiny that is supposed to show up and partner with you and endorse you to the next level in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands and I place an unction on your life. Receive of their ministry now. Receive of their ministry now. Receive of their ministry now. Where's Pastor Alpha's wife? Just hold her there. She's heavy. So in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying, have I not said I will bring you favor? It will manifest. God is bringing favor. After you give birth to your child, Pastor, your family will step into a strange level of favor. It will be at the commencement of this boy's birth, or this child, the moment the child is born, in the name of Jesus Christ, there will be strange miracles. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I pray for you. The kind of glory and honor you have never seen upon your life, I declare, receive it now. Receive it right now. All your tithes, your giving, God has released the blessings, but something has hijacked it in the realm of the spirit. Jabakatos kebranda, lates kapreteka pariatos. I command the release of your harvest. I command the release of your harvest. I command the release of your harvest. Whatever was not working in your life before you came here, I decree by the spirit of the living God, go back to it and watch it work in a way that will shock you. Whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately. I say it again. Whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately. Anyone here been eyed by the spirit of death to make sure that the earth kills you, to make sure that you die, or any bad news from your family, I cancel it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you step into the month of May, by the power that is in the name of Jesus, I declare, in one month alone, in one month, he said, have you ever had this, that a city is born in one day? He said, but as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. I declare, in one month, this month of May, a dimension of the ministry of the Holy Spirit to bring you strange results. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for your family members in the name that is above all names. If they have never testified from January till now, I command testimonies from next month. I pray for those who are students. You wrote your exams, you cannot rest, you are afraid. Whatever went wrong, I change it now. Whatever went wrong, I change it now. I don't care what went wrong. I change it now. Anyone here trusting God for a job? By May miracle service, as surely as the God of heaven lives, may God shake the heavens and the earth and give you your job. And you are here, you are walking, and they've refused to promote you. Whoever sits on your promotion gets out of his office. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any human being on this earth who has fraternized with the elements of the supernatural to limit your life, I pray now, I command all the elements of the supernatural to fight them. The same way the stars fought for Deborah, I command the earth to fight them. I command their success to fight them.
anyone who has trivialized your grace and neglected what you represent to make sure that doors don't open for you I decree and declare in their presence the Lord will lift you any prayer life here that has died because of carelessness carnality whatever it is sin that has been responsible for destroying your prayer life your passion you were on fire for God but there's laziness carelessness lukewarmness in the name of Jesus like the hair of Samson I command a sevenfold restoration for you now prayer fire in the name of Jesus Christ whatever has destroyed your world life no passion you carry your Bible you don't even know what to study you make up your mind that you will study there is a grace that helps men I pray in the name of Jesus may that enabling grace come upon your life now may that enabling grace come upon your life now the final prayer I want to pray for you listen there is a name that God is called the lifter of men hear me don't let any man lie to you that he can lift you on his own a man can receive nothing except it is given to him do you know lifting is a sign that God is with you yes read your Bible lifting to leave your current position to another is not a sign of pigmanism it truly is a sign that God is with you read your Bible there is nobody that God was with who he did not lift God who can pick a man from a donkey many of us it's not like you are doing bad but where you are you have been there for a long time everybody is rising and they come and see you spiritually financially please don't let anybody indoctrinate you that lifting is not of God if you are not lifted you will be frustrated at a point because the only way to bless others is as you are rising therefore I speak to your life the God who has gloriously lifted this ministry the God who by his spirit has helped us giving us a voice connected us to over 44 nations of the earth supernaturally by his spirit I pray in the name of Jesus wherever on the surface of the earth your lifting is tied to I decree and declare Maraca dos calibre getelator Mare dos copre teke labariatata Be lifted now in the name of Jesus Be lifted now in the name of Jesus I speak to your business Whatever you do Be lifted now in the name of Jesus I speak to your ministry Be lifted now in the name of Jesus they are taken for a prey and none say it restore I say restore I prophesy restore in the name of Jesus wave your hands and give Jesus all the praise hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you